Would y'all date uh, an actor or actress? Uh, I have. I've dated some aspiring actresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, porn but like, I'm don't. saying like, I've never. Well, first of all, that is. Star. That, they, that they is, do act. They act like that's squirt. So it's just straight piss, is what you're saying. She's really like legitimate. Because I know there's. Wow, this Wait, is I've been podcast. getting peed on this whole time? No, worry and mouth. Woo! <laughs> I want to start out this way, Maul. That's how you feeling? This is Kanye West Celebration. We're oh. playing it in context. You want to know why I'm playing this and what context is in? I would love to hear the context. The men, the men, the men finally won one in court. Yeah. Yes, we did. <sighs> well, no, nah, this might be. The that was that was a win. That was a win for all men. That would this that is, have been mentally and physically abused by women. <laughs> well, this might be. This is a. This is one of a few that we've had. True. Oh no, I understand that. Yeah. No, but no. This no. is the latest we're, and greatest. We're we're terrible. Yeah. Men are shitty, awful, all that. Absolutely. But Pieces it was nice. Shit. It was nice to see us get one off. Oh, it's beautiful. We have to celebrate our victories, no matter how small they are, how far and few in between they are. We have to celebrate our victories as men. We got one. Uh, Johnny Depp, you know, he... He was the only one that could bring it home. I mean, he was the only one. <laughs> only Johnny was going to get this get this thing done. Uh, but we never doubted him for a second. We never of doubted him. We got, we got a lot of the game tape, believe, game footage. Believe, men. Um, and yes, today is a celebration uh, for Johnny Depp. Uh, and all the Depsters around the world. Yes, that's what, what his, I just named his hive, the Depsters, because um, De- you know we come from depth. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of it's a lot of you know deep thought behind it. Uh, so yes, Johnny Depp has won a settlement. He won. Well, he won his case. Uh, he won his defamation lawsuit. Mm. Uh, he was awarded. I mean, I believe fifteen million. Fifteen. Yeah. Woo! Does she have fifteen million? She just it doesn't matter. Just she put won't. out a statement saying she doesn't. <laughs> she, she won't ever have it. Listen, Can't claim and, it. And if she would have won, I don't know how much Johnny Depp is worth, but she would have taken the entire. Shit. Oh, Johnny so, is worth. A few. So maybe he just saved fifteen million. <laughs> yeah, he saved fifteen million. Uh, but more importantly, his uh, his character is still intact. Yeah. For yeah. sure. You know, he walked out of the courtroom uh, as a prideful, truth telling man, which and we all are, truth telling men. Men don't lie. That's and right. I didn't know he was method acting all throughout Blow. Like he was just learning how to be abused yeah. mentally yeah. and taken advantage yeah. of by a woman. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. So I think he should take some accountability, but we did get blow out of it. We got blow. Um, hopefully. Uh, he couldn't pick him and blow, huh? Yeah, no, not a t- terrible woman. <laughs> terrible. His women. own mother. I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I believe this was a carryover. It was. This was a carryover, but. Uh, uh, he was overcharging for what they did to Boston George. Absolutely. But he won. He won his case. He had his day in court. He won. Uh, so congratulations to Johnny Depp. One of the wilder trials. We didn't talk about it a lot because just so much was happening. I feel like every day was a new update and I just wanted to wait for it to be over. I want to be completely we... honest. I thought all of this was fake. <laughs> it, it felt that way in the beginning. I, I and I this... also didn't know. I didn't know who was telling the truth in the beginning either. And then obviously the case went on. And we saw what the, time it was. The but... questions, the line of questioning in the courtroom for Johnny was crazy. The things they were asking him to read was crazy. The things she was saying, uh, her, her her dog stepped on a bee. It was like, listen, man, I, I don't just, know what that has to do with anything, man. But okay, I just got to the owl episode in the staircase, so yes. anything is possible. It just, you know, it, it 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 felt weird. It felt like this can't be real. Um, she sat on his bed as a prank. Yeah, it, it, that's what I'm saying. All of this, it just felt like I thought Johnny Depp was. You know, playing with the internet and having fun with the world, thinking that he was really going through this, but he was. This was a, a real case. Um, so yes, he was has been found. Uh, I guess not guilty. Yeah. Uh, but it was a civil case. Yeah. So I don't listen. Listen, whatever it means. I'm not a Twitter lawyer like y'all. I yeah. really don't know. I just saw I the headline. I believe Johnny Depp. Let me just say that uh, I don't believe that that woman uh was telling the truth at all. I believe mm. it was a. Uh, I believe she's trying to be an actress. I'm I'm happy that I've never been in a situation where I felt like I needed to record arguments with my significant other. Yeah. In fear. When that you get were... to that point, it's it's time to just, you know. And I don't mean that gen- gender specific again. either side. I'm glad I've never been in that situation. Yeah. No, nah, it's um I don't understand how people ever get to that point, honestly, to where now we're in court unless uh, you know, obviously you're married, uh kids, things like that are involved. But um it's just good to see, you know. 
Because Mel Gibson was going crazy. No, listen, we, we we still never really talked about how crazy Mel Gibson went and the fact that he was still able to have a career after that. I don't, because he, he's still kind of around. I mean, I know he's Mel Gibson, yeah. but like he's obviously not as active. And I think that's more age specific than yeah. anything else. Nothing really uh, pulled at his, his heart. He went against the Jewish people, <laughs> mm-hmm. which number one, case closed, he should have been done, Absolutely. done right there. Absolutely. Uh, he went against the Lakers organization. <laughs> mm-hmm. He went against God. Obviously was very uh, abusive to that woman. So I don't take that lightly at all. Mm-hmm. He was a fucking psychopath. He did survive all that. Like survive everyone kind of laughed at him screaming about his Lakers tickets. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> I was like, no, this is a sick man. Like get this woman and family away from oh, him. Oh man. Yeah, man. It's just, you know, again, people have their issues and their problems in the home. Uh, it's just, it's just good to see, uh, you know, Johnny Depp still keep his character. Um, and the guy, the cool guy that we believe him to be, yeah, uh, still intact. Um, so congratulations, Johnny Depp, his uh, his lawyers, uh, his his his, what do they call it? His team, mm. his uh, his team. Congratulations to his team. I don't know how many lawyers he has, but congratulations to his team. Uh, and he got a fifteen million dollar settlement. I I can't wait till the FX series. Oh man, yeah, yeah. People or, versus Johnny Depp, even though it's not the people. Even though Shorty it's not the, versus Johnny Depp. Did you think they'll have a? Uh, <laughs> That's the name of it. You think they'll have a CSI? episode oh law and order is already shooting right law now i'm sure yeah but definitely need a law and order but i want one. the real like the real one like mm-hmm. the people that did the oj shit the versace shit the mm-hmm. menendez brothers like i want them to produce that yeah but would, have we talked about this would y'all date uh, an actor or actress i'm not even saying if they're uh particularly famous just if that's their craft uh i have i've dated some aspiring actresses mm-hmm. uh not but like i'm all. saying like i've never well, first of all that is star. that, that they, is, they do act they, they act the they entire act, time. Yeah. They act. They act they act like that's squirt and it's not. But um It's not? It's not? I just found out Santa Claus wasn't real again. Uh, yeah. It's not hurts. squirt. What is it? Uh they put they put stuff in there? Depends on what type of water they asked to Seltzer drink. Seltzer water? Uh, uh before shooting. You know, they ask you to drink like a gallon of like water. So, so it's water. Like, so it can be clear. So so just, it's just straight piss, is what you're saying. She's real like legitimate. Because I know there's wow, this wait, is I've been podcast. getting peed on this whole time? Have you smelled it after? Not really. Well, I know Not squirt really. has pee in it, <laughs> but like you're telling me that's straight pee. Just like, like they're just, they just really have to use the bathroom. Okay, squirt has pee in it. Just I'm like, aware. just like liquor has alcohol in it. I, I get mean, that, but <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying when a woman legitimately squirts, it's, it's not just pee. <laughs> well, you're, on, you're saying this is, they're just well, peeing people, at an abrupt I think, rate. I think, I think they're making it look like with some cinematography that she just squirted. Okay, here, tell me what, tell me what you think it is. Liquid. I think it's a mixture of whatever the moisture that makes their vaginas wet, plus some pee, plus, oh, you know, lubrication. So you think everything that makes a woman wet is pee? No, that's not. That's okay. See, so now you're so changing it the question. It that's can't true. be that's not what uh, I said. mixture balance. Everything that makes a woman wet, no, that's not pee. No, what okay. I'm saying is squirt. It can't be a mixture. It's a, what, if you want to have some uh, jungle punch at the cookout, then have it. It's alcohol anyway. Jungle you anyway you anyway. You, okay, but so it's, some has way more sugar in it. Absolutely. Some other types of alcohol depends on her diet. Yeah, that's true. So it depends on how much water like she drank before yeah. shooting. Okay. So usually when women know that they're shooting a scene, they know that mm. squirting is like the most one of the most sought after yeah, key, more keyword searches in porn. They feel it's, their uh, it's the monologue, if you will. Times. So they the feel yeah. So they so 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 usually the night before they have to shoot, they'll just. Nothing but water. Hmm. They won't drink no juices, no, yeah. you know, just straight water so that it's clear, so that it's ingestible if the guy wants to drink it. Sure. Uh, things like that. Yeah. I mean, just water. Wild. Well, anyways, back to the original question. <laughs> so, yes, Johnny Depp, congratulations. No, um, so you, oh. date, you dated uh, an act or an up and coming actor? An aspiring actress, yes. She had a few, uh, a few roles under her belt, small roles, but, you know. Is this the one that I always say that you've dated a famous girl and you say, no, I haven't? And I say, yes, you have. Is this the same one? I wouldn't consider her an actress. No, there, well, that's why I wasn't sure. Because oh, yeah. I know she'd done roles, so I don't yeah, know. No, that, no, she said her. to you, I'm an actress. No, no, she's never said that to me. Though. I don't. No, she's never said that to I'm me. I'm not saying she couldn't be one. No, she. I think she can I, I think she definitely be could be one. Absolutely, for sure. But no, not her. Okay. So how did that go? It was cool. I mean, you know, just. She was aspiring, meaning like, you know, she would get a gig here and there every couple of months, Mm -hmm. you know, but it wasn't nothing like, I want to know what it's like to date like a real, like full time. Or even if they're not famous, someone that goes to acting class every week. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to know what it's like to date one, because I'm pretty sure that 
you know, depending on what type of role they're going for, they're going to try to jump into that character. And now you have to deal with that character whenever you are, are out yeah. on a date with her. That She's was... going to be over, overly emotional. Yeah. You know, try to see fucking... if she can cry on cue. That'd be a headache. Sounds. And then like, if they, even, <laughs> even after the, after the movie's out and like, you're out of character, like what's stuck yeah. in your brain. Yeah. Like, cause you really killed that role. Like mm -hmm. how much of that did you become? Yeah. And now you can tap into it whenever you want. I haven't told you about the time I was on a date with a girl and we kind of was having just a little disagreement. It wasn't yelling, wasn't none of that. It was just, we were talking, I was disagreeing with what she was saying. And I'm eating my food and I look up and she's like in full face, of, full of tears. Have I told you about that? No, I think I would remember this. Bro, I'm look, intrigued now, here's though. why it was crazy. Mm. She's crying, face full of tears. I look up, I didn't even know she was crying because she's not. she wasn't like sniffling. I'm like looking down on my plate eating. It wasn't like she was sniffling and all that. You know, the cry shit. Yeah. I look up, she got a face full of tears. To make matters worse, the police were standing right by the fucking, like, the tabletops, like, yeah. the bar. So I'm like, these police officers are going to think I'm beating this was girl, she white? abusing this. No, she, oh. <laughs> thank God, she wasn't white. <laughs> but I'm just looking at her like, you're going to cry like this while we eating in front of the police? Like sobbing? And wait, well, was she it started sobbing once I looked up, and then I was like, yo, why are you crying? And I turned, the cops were like, right here. But was it, a legitimate reason or was it like when women cry like when no, they it was when, when they reason. got the order wrong no, it was like, a, it was oh, a this legitimate. is the last thing of the day. <laughs> I can't anything right today I just wanted mozzarella sticks <laughs> <laughs> no she's, she was crying because she was fucking crazy I found out later okay she was just a fucking loony bin well you found out later so you yeah. just took that as maybe she had a rough day and this was the final straw and no, she just I, needed to just vent and just let it all argument, out I think the argument was like she didn't understand why, like, we weren't, like, more serious or something like that. Now, okay. mind you, this was, like, literally maybe the second time we had ever hung out. Well, like, were you guys talking a lot in between? Yeah, texting. But it's like, what do you mean more serious? Like, we, this is the first, second time we've been to get something to eat together. What are you mm -hmm. talking about? So, I just found out she was just a little, you know, a little but, wacky. But at that point, you didn't think she was crazy? No, at, when she okay. started crying... Right then and there, I was like, she might be a little. But off. you ignored the red flags and kept going, and then later on, we... yeah, I, you know, you ignore the red flags. You know how we are. We see oh, red, sure. we just try to find something to match with it. For sure, I mean, are we see a red flag? We try to find a red shirt. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like that's just like what, <sighs> what it is. Um, but yeah, she, try to wave it. Yeah, she's <laughs> like you had Juve or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just turned out to be a little crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, bring me the red flags. You know, the, the homies is blood. It's all good. Um, but yeah, she found out she was a little crazy, so that was the end of that. Okay. But that was crazy. That was like the first time a woman actually cried. I was like, what the fuck is wrong? Is that like the worst that you've ever been on? Nah, hell no. The worst that I've ever been on, I actually left. Oh, tell us about this. Yeah. Tell you want to hear about it? Yeah. Uh, you kind of hit like a lower octave and did this affect you? No, not at all. <laughs> I just wasn't a typical reaction of you. Like, yeah, I left. left. Yeah, I just got up and left. Well, what, what prompted that? Uh, she was, she was like really like just obnoxious and loud. Okay. I don't like loud, obnoxious women. I don't like loud, obnoxious people. Mm -hmm. But like women is like, that is a huge turn off. What, uh, what county uh, did she derive from? Uh, <laughs> I believe she was from Atlanta. Mm. Okay. I've, I haven't really found Atlanta women to be very obnoxious, at least oh, this, by New York standards. This one was very loud. very, And she was rude to the waitress. That's what really Oof, I was like. Yeah, right, this I doesn't don't, sound Southern. I don't like shit like that. Oh. Like when you talk to the where's the where's waitress? Amaretta when you need her? Yeah, she's not from Atlanta. <laughs> she probably wasn't from Atlanta. Like yeah, according <laughs> to Amaretta, she probably wasn't. You are not Atlanta. Yeah, but I I didn't like that, uh, and she was just like disrespectful to the waitress, and it was just like, all right, man, you just uh, did you I pay can't. the bill and then just leave? Did I pay the bill and then just leave? Yeah, I paid the bill, and I was just like, yo, I'm out. Like that was it. Mid meal. We were we were wrapping up a couple yeah. bites. A couple bites. It was still some left on the plate, but I was like, I'll just ask the waitress for the check. We just came back, was like, you guys want dessert? And you're like, no, thank you. No, I asked the waitress for the check. I was like, can I get the check? And I paid the bill and I just was like, well, you know, take care. It's good seeing you. That was it. Oh, hit it with. I knew you named that Drake album. I knew it. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> Rory, what about one of your worst dates? I don't know about worst dates. I was going to say, I dated a, a girl that was on like Broadway, not a full fledged actress. Ooh. But we like, we talked. What? I wouldn't really say like we dated, dated. We talked and fucked. So we never really got to the part where I think she could have gotten gotten in her like actor manipulation bag, mm -hmm. and she was Broadway. So like, like I know I know Juliet. Like you can't get into your real bag. Mm -hmm. I read I read what's on Broadway. Like <laughs> I know like right. I've seen this play before. So, right. so you're just 
doing the same play. Mm-hmm. So, I, yeah, I haven't gotten in that bag. Worst date? I don't know if I've had very many bad dates, per se. You've I don't had to so. have some bad dates. I've had dates that were where I felt weren't worth my time afterwards, mm. but not like some crazy event happened where it was like, yo, what the fuck? Mm. That I can think of. Because at one point, okay, I was a little bit of a serial dater. I was dating a lot. Pre, were you? Pre-Tinder. Well, I don't know. Maybe Tinder existed. But yeah, I like to go on dates. See, it's funny, Rory, because I, I, I learned so much about, like, because when we really started hanging out, you were already, like, in a full-fledged relationship. Mm. Yeah. So, like, I would love to see, like, the Rory when you were, like, throwing back brewskis, smoking cigs, <laughs> tagging up on the subway. <laughs> I want to see that Rory. You know what I mean? I want to hang out with that Rory. Like, but I need to like go back to that. Just dig into that bag a little bit and just like hang out for like a week. But that I can I can get into that bag. You just need to give me a post week of recovery afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. Like we should put some episodes in the bag, and then and then we could hang out and do that. Yeah, because you right. won't see me for a week. I need to sleep. But even when I was doing my serial dating, was in that era, mm-hmm. and I guess I wasn't. I didn't have much money. Um, oh, that's when you really drink. Isn't it amazing oh, how much sure. you drink when you don't have money? And fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, poor people fuck a lot. I have no time to fuck anymore. <laughs> it's crazy because it's true, man. Uh, it's, it's just crazy. <laughs> you drink so much when you're broke. Yeah. You drink so drink much. Terrible. You have sex so much. Mm-hmm. It's just like... Well, because they go hand in hand because you're drinking really cheap shit. Yeah. At a high abundance rate because it comes in ounces that yeah. it shouldn't come in. And you also come in ounces as well. And then oh after that, you're both on. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't even have to say so that. So you fuck a lot. It's true though. <laughs> and like all that, I feel like the fucking low end bottom shelf liquor has like a mixture of alcohol, Viagra, and Molly in it. Yeah. Which is why I don't understand why it's so fucking cheap. But and it just makes everybody horny. Yeah. And you just end up fucking way more than you typically would and it's also because when you're broke you kind of like you know are depressed and then you meet other people that are depressed and you kind of just try to fuck your way through depression and i feel like hangovers really i don't know maybe that's an age thing but hangovers started to happen more when i had money <laughs> when i was broke i could drink everclear wake up the next morning be like, yeah where we at be good yeah because <laughs> you were anxious to just like get yeah. the drink and start it again listen if i don't pay the bill oh well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who cares i'm gonna be hungover but no i didn't have Bad dates, because a lot of that, I would go, it weren't like official dates. I wouldn't take them out for like dinner and doing all that. I'd be like, yeah, we, we here. Mm-hmm. Come here. And that would be the date, sort of, mm-hmm. to see if, you know, the precursor. Like, I can't escape out of this and say it wasn't a date if need be. Mm-hmm. So what I did about a, a, really I did good a lot of that. Hmm? What about a really good date? Really good date. Uh, yeah. Can't always be too negative, you know? I, that's corny, though. I couldn't want to hear about that. Uh, yeah, like we, we were lost in each other's yeah, like eyes. A, yeah, like there was so date. much chemistry. She, oh my god, she got every joke. Yeah, the night was amazing, and she picked up the bill. Had no idea. Is her picking up a bill a good a, a reason to call it a good date? If, a if you ask Johnny Depp, yeah, absolutely. If a woman picks up the bill, that's a great date. Shorty picked up the bill in court. She, whether she wants to or not, <laughs> whether she wants to, that was or not. a good date for Johnny. <laughs> that was a great date for Johnny Depp. But anyway, welcome to another episode of New Rory and Maul, uh, another audio adventure, another visual so. escapade. Call it what you want. I am Maul. That's Rory. What's going on, guys? How I'm was your few to, days I'm, off, man? Trying to get our little run of show up here. Real time producing. Huh. Um, I was regular. Yeah, nothing even worth really talking about. Um, but I, I think we wanted to get uh right into our our. Upcoming weekend with Roots Picnic. Mm-hmm. Um, one of our amazing listeners, I believe, uh, has her daughter's soccer game and cannot attend. I don't know if that's true. I'm just making that up. I feel like someone told me that. Um, but instead of being refunded. You said one of the what? One of our amazing listeners okay. is giving up their Roots Picnic ticket. Okay. Not even getting refunded because she got it like that. You know. Mm-hmm. Doesn't even care. Just giving just, it away. <laughs> giving, it to, giving it to the culture. Um, and she was like, hey, you guys should give it away to a fan. And I thought, what a great idea. So instead of doing that, I'm actually going to take the ticket and use that as an extra ticket for one of my hoes. Okay. So I just want to make that clear. There yeah, will cool. be no ticket giveaway. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what she thought we were going to do with that ticket. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Except bring more hoes to the venue. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, but let's let, let's come up with a cool way to give this ticket away. I think with the timing, um, it would make sense to make it just Philly specific. Like, yeah, 
not even tri state. Like you just got to be in Philly. Yeah, be in Philly already. Be in the area, and if you have nothing on your agenda Saturday or Sunday, just pull up. I think. Wait, is the ticket for both days? I think it's a pass. Damaris. Yes, it's, it's a, a pass. pass. All right. Okay. So yeah. I think let's get even greedier. We should make this Patreon specific. Yeah. Mm. You sure, got to be on Patreon. <laughs> got to be on Patreon and you got to have nice tits. Can we do it like that? What? Like, let us, <laughs> can we see some tits for the ticket? You know, tit for tat. Tit for tat. You're right. Let's call it tit for tat, Damaris. What do you think? <laughs> I'm fine with that. That's Getting funny. canceled for that? All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tit for tat. Let's do you, it, baby. You would have done great in the Mardi Gras Girls Going Wild era. I it just took beads. We have Roots picnic tickets. Look yeah, how we, times have changed. Come on, exactly. <laughs> One thing I will say about- They the, were giving uh, the beads away for free. <laughs> beads. Show me your tits and I'm going to throw uh, some, some beads at you. <laughs> but I, do that. What Should a culture. We, what culture is that? I believe white people invented that. New Orleans. Yeah, that's, that's pretty white. That's, that's white that's, people shit. That's white. Thank you for that, Rory. Because yeah, yeah, you have to find something of absolute no value just to yeah, forget it. Show your I'll tits, go throw some beads. Yeah. Um, I think it would be nice if we if we do some fake type of scavenger hunt, and by that I mean simply put like some merch or something in some weird location in Philly, take a picture of it like in a small frame, throw it on Patreon, and say if you find the shit. Let's put the ticket. Uh, let's put something in the the same Chinese restaurant that Meek used to go to. Uh, let's send them to the hood. Let's send yeah, them. I was about to say, to the say go what, see the what projects are still standing in yeah. Philly? You want to go to the roots? We're gonna we gonna put something. Go to that Chinese. I don't know the name of it, but go to that one that Meek used to rap in front of. Go to that. No, one. matter of fact, you have to go exactly where Black Thought grew yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> like to his crib. I'm gonna ask him his his old address. Go to Questlove's Barbershop, <laughs> and then sweep up. There you go. And then you'll get the ticket. I was listening to um, uh, Black Thought podcast episode i think it was uh the champs neil brennan's and he was saying quest love grew up what was um that shit that happened in philly where the cops like blew up the whole fucking block oh they dropped the they, bombs they, on the houses yeah i forgot the name of it that was that was a really really tragic that wasn't like was, was that the 70s no it was later than that no pull Look that up, that up. That there's a great game. documentary about that too and I, I, I believe that was the late 70s if i'm not mistaken the philly bombing i almost wanted to say late 80s it could have been the 80s 1985. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right in the middle. 85. Yeah. Um, and Black Thought was was saying like yeah, everyone thinks like Quest Love is like the super nerdy guy. Like he's from that block. Like his house mm -hmm. almost got blown up mm -hmm. and that shit. Like Quest is from like one of the wildest blocks in Philly. Yeah. That was uh that was a, 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 and prayers and condolences to those families that Hell still yeah. you know so many years ago. But I'm pretty sure that has Kids affected them shit. forever. What, what was the name? I mean, they they put a name to it. The Move Bombing. Yes. That's what they called it? Yeah. That might have been the name of the block. The move bombing? Because I thought they was looking for like uh, suspects or something. Or... They were. But it was it was all, I feel like they even had the wrong house. And I believe they called it an accident. Yeah, like they yeah. tried to say it was an accident. The, the move bombing in Philadelphia, police dropped a bomb on West Philly, in a West Philly house in 1985. The fire caused by the explosion killed 11 people. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I think they bombed the fucking wrong crib. Like, <sighs> bro, that's crazy as fuck. Um, but yeah, yeah no, so we have cops, a ticket. More cops. We have a ticket. We have a ticket to give uh pass to give away. So are we announcing that on Patreon, Damaris? Yes. Announcing that on Patreon. We'll announce how you can uh get the pass for both days at the Roots Picnic this weekend. Um, so I guess stay tuned on Saturday morning, because mm -hmm. we're gonna go down relatively early and yeah. look at look at your Patreons and we'll we'll post a picture as soon as we get to Philly <laughs> and can watch us also argue about where we're going to put it on Patreon. Yeah. Um, the lineup came out yesterday where they put out Time. the times and everything. Um, so I just wanted to let people know that Rory and I will be off the stage at 8.50 sharp. So we can go see Summer at 9. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if the show's going well, I'll stay. I know Maul will abandon I me. am leaving. <laughs> There's no way I'll I'm missing you, Summer Walker at 9 o'clock. Not happening. I saw at Broccoli City. It's, it's worth running over to. I, I will be Front and center watching Summer Walker. She, I know people have given her a lot of shit for her live performances in the past. And you know what? As a Summer fan, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Broccoli City, I'm being unbiased. Yeah. She stepped that shit up immensely. She sounds so good she's live. Getting, she's she's not in her fucking just like super insecure bag. She's, 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 she's great. getting more comfortable. She's getting, uh, you know, she's kind of settling into the fact that people love to see her live and love to hear her perform. Um... Yeah, so either way, I don't care if she's, if people think she does terrible Sunday, I will be uh, supporting mm. front of the center. I thought he was going to say screaming. 
No, I will not be screaming. I'll be supporting. So do you think, I mean, because, you know, you're so invested, are you going to be like the side stage guy, like supporting her from like stage right? Are you going to be in the photo pit? Are you going to be in front of house because you want to see the whole experience? Are you going to be uh, one of the people and just want to be like, <laughs> I want to be around the summer fans um, and sing with them? It depends. It depends if I can get a good spot in front of the stage. Okay. Then cool. If not, you know, side stage will work. Got you. And you think you'll do maybe some like IG videos and be like, summer's killing it. No, <laughs> no, I won't be doing that. <laughs> I've been to summer shows before and I've never recorded an IG video Said she's killing it. I mean, we know you play the back. Yeah. Trying to show her like, yo, I, you can move around with me. Yeah, I'm, I'll keep it a secret. I'll keep it a secret. Won't nobody know I'm here. <laughs> no, but she's great, man. I just want to hear her say, and I haven't seen her perform any of the, uh, the new album yet. Mm. So I, that's why I, I really want to... Um, Make sure I get to the stage by nine o'clock. A lot of plants. A lot of plants are on stage. A lot of plants will be in my pocket. So listen, it goes hand in hand. I get it. Also, uh, Cameo. We are now live on Cameo, Damaris. Yes? Yes. Hey. Cameo. Shout out to Cameo. Uh, we are now live. New Rory and Mall. Damaris, you can tell us more because I don't have any information on it. <laughs> so as of right now, we are accepting um, fan requests for videos. Um, so just go on there, search Rory and Mall, and you'll be able to see our price point and, um, yeah, get exclusive shout outs from, from Rory and Mall and businesses. You'll, you'll have that opportunity too, but we're still thinking of a price point for businesses cause we gonna, yeah, we're, we're trying to take, all, business, take y'all really, for all y'all got. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta really think about the businesses, but I'm gonna ask if you say exclusive shout outs, like I'm gonna ask for something exclusive. Yeah, Absolutely. But I mean, we can if have I, if I did cameo as if like went and purchased from people that I fuck with, I would I would ask them to do some wild shit. Absolutely, <laughs> why not? I'm paying for it. Like, a, just this, give it a shot. Oh yeah, which people I think might I'm be setting, open to doing it. I think I'm setting myself up right now for this. But like, I mean, uh, no, nah, if it, do do this happy birthday shit on one leg. <laughs> oh, see, on one you, leg, you giving them ideas now. So they're not about to have me doing no crazy shit like that. Then again, nah, fuck it, I'll have fun. I'll have fun without fans. I will until it gets too much, and then I'm gonna treat it like only fans. Be like, yo, you gotta tip me. <laughs> it's not it's not just a subscription you got a tip too <laughs> so check us out on cameo uh we are live now um yeah man and let's have some fun with this shit i don't want no corny requests let's do some cool shit it's gonna be all corny what would be a corny it, request i don't know say hello to my cat what well, how's that corny you want me to speak into a camera yeah, and say hello to someone they're cat? gonna pay you and they're gonna be like be like yeah or i'm gonna get on there and ask for you pay 25 dollars for base you asking me to give Bays a shout out? So no, but I'm gonna pay for it. Like it's gonna go in your requests. Yeah. Like you're not even gonna know. <laughs> Prepaid, that is stupid. Like you're gonna fuck, have to owe man. it. Oh, uh, but anyways, every time uh we have these in between day, days off, I really don't check shit. It's only when we have the longer days with the weekend. But I see BET Awards is here. The yes. BET Awards are upon us. Yes, nominees came out. When when is BET Awards? Tomorrow? June 25th, I believe. Right. S sounds about right. I oh, so that shit is, is very close. Um, I did do all this voting. Um, I actually did it. Two well, days it's not. Ago. I, well, I think they record June twenty fifth. I'm not sure when it gotcha. airs. So yeah, so they, it's gonna air June twenty sixth. June twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. Okay. At eight p.m. Yeah, Eastern. Uh, well, I was a judge. Um, wow. And I, I did do all the votes. Just I voted for Ari Lennox on everything. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> uh, okay. So let's look I, at I some was, of the. And I, that's where I, I feel like. Cause this is my second time being like a judge on an award show, like not judge, but someone that votes in each category. Let me give you the guys committee, a if you will. Here's um, the here's the nominees for best female, and you guys could choose who you guys would want. You got to say it in your MC Light voice. It <laughs> not in your Eduardo Najarro. I have no. I'm sorry. And pick just the big categories. We don't have to go through all this shit. Best female R and B pop artist: uh, Ari Lennox, Chloe, Doja Cat, Her, Jasmine Sullivan, Mary J. Blige, Summer Walker. You're doing it wrong. Your choice. He's doing the MC Light voice wrong? Yeah. Uh, I can't man. do an MC. Right, How about so you let, do it? Let me try. Let me try. How do you say, like, you say light in Spanish? Best female R&B pop artist, Ari Lennox, Chloe, <laughs> Doja Cat, her, Jasmine Sullivan, Mary J. Blige, She's and reading. Summer Walker. Woohoo! Um, uh, I just want to make something clear about uh, this best female R&B pop artist. First of all, why are they combining R&B yeah, pop artists? Yeah, I don't artists? I, <laughs> uh, I was a little confused when I was looking two days ago at it. Because like Lucky Day was in pop, and I was like, yeah, I saw that. yeah, Lucky Day. See, Lucky Day and the Weekend together just isn't. Well, let's 
MC uh MC D, mm-hmm. Baby D, mm-hmm. uh, give us the best male R and B pop artist uh, category. Best male R and B pop artist: Blast, Chris Brown, Giveon, Lucky Day, The Weeknd, Wiz Kid, and Young Blue. MC Crate. Yeah, I just don't like. <laughs> she's Crit. I just don't like the fact that they got uh, Lucky Day and The Weeknd in the same because Lucky Day is the best male R and B artist right now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And but The Weeknd is though. such a huge artist. Yeah. But I mean, it's how like, the BET Awards work and how, unfortunately, the music business works. Could the could there be just a standing pop category because they try so hard to keep black artists out of pop? <laughs> I think it could be a, a but I mean, first of all, all music is black music mm-hmm. number one, so it doesn't. You can have a pop artist category uh, at the BET Awards. Celtic uh, Irish step dancing is mm-hmm. ours, but you can have everything else. I believe they stole that from. <laughs> I'm sure uh, they <laughs> from Sammy Davis. Those, those, bag, those bagpipes <laughs> come from. Come from Rick James. <laughs> uh, MC uh, MCD, give us the best uh, best group. Y'all aren't picking people. Oh well, for best female R and B pop artist, I'm I'm going with Summer Walker. Well, I pick mine. Am I going against my NDA? But if it's I just him? hard for Summer Ooh, Jasmine. It's, that's hard, man. Jasmine had a great year. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm excited for this. I do want to figure out this this judging thing with the committees. There's got to be another way. Because I, I no, they just I need to put myself, the right people in the right category. But, I think but, that makes it easier. Here's the thing: I will be, I will say something that I'm sure anyone that's been on any committee from Grammy to BT to anyone that's allowed to vote for categories, I found myself being biased. Uh, you, you, yeah, he just said he voted for Aria. But, Every category. Like I found myself, I was like, this kind of isn't fit. I have relationships with a lot of these people, and granted, I know how to be objective, and I was objective on almost all of it. I but, I, but I found myself, I don't think people are as objective as me. So I found myself like, oh, fuck, I can't do that. Just because I love this person doesn't mean they should win here. No, I voted but, for whoever I felt I, I enjoyed the album the yeah. most. That's what I did. I, but I just feel like who they put on committees obviously works in the music industry and probably has a lot of ties to a lot of these people. Mm-hmm. So it becomes kind of weird. And then I don't know if you could just do the fan vote, because then I'd also say fans are stupid. And now you're just going with someone that probably was marketed the best that's going to have the biggest fan base. I feel like so Chris, I don't Brown even know the fuck the, Chris Brown was the fan vote every year, I feel like. I don't I, think I've ever seen anyone win I, yeah. like the fan choice. Well, Ma, even you saying um, I voted for whoever's album I, I played or I liked the most, even that's biased in a way. It's because actually it 100% say, biased. That doesn't say it's your faith. It I'm, is. Not, I don't, I'm not in business with any of these artists. No, but what I'm saying is you're voting for what album you liked the most. That's all I can do. No, 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 it's no. My, it's, it's, music is subjective. It's, 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 it's what they're asking you is which album do you think is the best? Well, if Just, I'm listening to it the most, that's the one I think is the best. No? Okay, but all right, let's, let's do the sports comparison again. Like, if you liked watching the Suns the most this year, they're not in the finals, nor do they deserve to be because they lost. <laughs> yeah, but they will be nominated. Yeah, but you can't pick the Suns to be NBA champions. No, but that's that's <laughs> different because you that they have to actually that's a sport. They have to play the finals. Okay, that, but you different. you can say there is some competitive sport <clears throat> within whether it be sales, popularity, impact, e- even down to skill, down to everything. That's why this shit is so hard to do award shows. Yeah, but there music is, is a way to do it. Music except is, for Billboard, it's music only is sense. subjective. Sports, we we know we is a winner and there's mm-hmm. a loser. There's nothing to debate about that. Like a Knicks fan can't tell me that the Knicks are better than the Warriors. Like, well, he right. can, but I'll be looking at him like, oh, okay. You look crazy, but all right. Whatever. Okay, but you you could say, as a Michael Jackson fan, if someone came up to you of just an artist that they love, like they mans in them, you'd be like, he's better than Michael Jackson. You'd be like, no, he's not, clearly. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying, but there's, I just- There's I, ways to do that. I think that, uh, first of all, every all of these nominees had great projects. Sure. But there's some that, like, I listen to Jasmine Sullivan's album, but I don't think I listen to Jasmine's albums as much as I listen to Summer's album. Okay, but do you think that Jasmine's album is a better album than Summer? I listen to Chloe more than anybody on Chloe singles more than anybody on this list. That doesn't mean that she had the best song. It doesn't mean that she had because yeah, if, if I were being objective, but no that's matter why what, Jasmine had the best Jasmine album. Wins, no and to what. me, it's not even close. But I might throw on that Summer shit before if I'm at the crib with somebody before I'll throw on the Jasmine, knowing the Jasmine album is a better album. Okay. That's why that's why make no that's fucking why sense. It's a whole committee. People vote, and I guess they just yeah. tally those votes up. And but who the fuck are we? Maul said, "I said what I said. I voted for Summer." <laughs> no, I thought Summer's album was crazy, and and like the numbers that she did, like you know what I mean, like she did oh, shit no, that I completely Beyonce agree. only Beyonce Lemonade did. But I also 
True. But now, see, now you're getting into when I say the sun, you can't say the Suns are NBA champions no. because they're they lost. Mm-hmm. That's saying Summers is the best because she sold just as much as Lemonade, and the rest of them didn't. No, I mean I see. And then saying. that doesn't it's, go down to yeah. that might be the album I enjoyed the most. But so. that's why that's why it's a committee of people. We all put our votes in based on how we feel, mm-hmm. and then somebody I guess takes those votes in. Or it could we could totally be wrong, and somebody already has all of this shit. Oh, figured sure. out who they want to name as best, whatever. I just feel like we we should open the world up to shame everyone that's on the committee. <laughs> you should have to stand by your vote to mm-hmm. the public. Yeah, they should be able to if, see it. If the Grammys want to up their ratings, yeah, show us put, who voted put for who. F- profile pictures of everyone who voted and what they voted for. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's really go crazy. That's what we want to see. We want to see who voted. We want to see violence. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, best male R and B pop artist. It's hard not to go with get, uh, the weekend, man. It's hard, but I, I mean, Lucky Day's album same, is fucking crazy. They shouldn't be in the same category. Yeah, they shouldn't. It's hard not to go with the weekend because the weekend is the weekend. But I mean, Lucky Day's album is 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 phenomenal. Um, and I like oh, I like Blast. I love Chris Brown. Give you all of these are obviously talented artists, but for me, if best male R and B pop art R and B pop artist would have to be the weekend. And then the bias also comes in with like, oh, I'd like to see that person get an award. Yep. Even if they don't deserve it, mm-hmm. you feel like oh, they deserve an award. But in this category, they don't deserve this award compared to these people. I don't know. I just, I'm complaining without a solution. I just don't understand these committees and how they work. Best uh, new artist. Baby Keem, Benny the Butcher, Lotto, Money Long, Tim's, Young Blue. Now, you going to sit here and look me in my eye and tell me you ain't vote for Benny? I didn't even see I, I didn't even vote for Benny. That. I, don't even I didn't see vote that for category. Benny because one, I don't think Benny's a new artist. New artist That's what right, I started right. like f- finding myself in this. I'm like, all right, I'm going it? off new artists to the public for real. Like, who the nominees I think, again? I think Lotto or Thames would have been the the real pick for best new artist, even though they've been doing be- work before this. Yeah, they're new as far as the masses go. Baby Keem, Benny the Butcher, Lotto, Money Long, Thames, and Young Blue. You got to go with Tim's. You got to go with Tim's. You got to give that to I, Tim's. I mean, that's who I voted for. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. But. I don't, yeah, I think you keep telling who you... Shh. That was the only <laughs> one that I admitted, I think. You told us you voted for Ari. In every category. Oh, I was just... I was joking around. I did vote for Ari. So you did certain, vote for Ari. In certain categories. Ari! Ari! <laughs> Rory out here not voting for you. <laughs> nah, is she going though? Because if she's not accepting the award, Ari is definitely going to the BET Awards. Is she? Is she? Sure. I don't know about that. She know Ari gonna put that shit on and hit that carpet. Like that. She was at the last one. How she don't fuck with them? I think I so. She, I remember one year she was really upset. Yeah, she I think her and Summer get, sat next she, to each other at the last she one. She didn't right? get okay. nominated for. Um, oh, that was the Soul. So I'm sorry, that was the Soul Train. She, award. Well, she had every right to go on that that Twitter rant yeah. with the Soul Train Awards, like because she was like the only person still making still making Soul music, and she was losing every character. Like, wait. Y'all wanted soul but music, yeah, and then I can't even win. The, can't even win at the soul yeah, train. They got to get. They got to get these nominees in a category. Uh, not so much the nominees, but they got to categorize things a little better. Like, yes. I, and I would be pissed. Like, all right, you want to slight me for a Grammy? I get it. Soul music isn't the shit that normally wins at the Grammys, but at the Soul Train Awards, and I make the best, most popular, and I'm the youngest soul music pushing it forward. Yeah, and I'm losing in every category. Mm-hmm. Fuck award shows. <laughs> Prize picks is daily fantasy made easy. Just pick two to five players and over under on their projections, and you can win up to 10 times on any entry. Prize pick offers every sport you can think of NFL, college football, NBA, college basketball, MLB, soccer, MMA, and more. They also allow mixed sport entries, so you can take the over on LeBron combined with the under on Mahomes in the same entry. That's right, Rory. Plus, Prospix has an award-winning, easy-to-use mobile app that's available on the App Store and Google Play. And with Prospix, withdrawals are simple, safe, and fast. Tonight in the finals, Rory, it's I'm finals taking time. I'm taking Steph in the over, and I'm going to take uh, Clay in the under. Okay. I, I think they're going to triple team Steph, but have at it. Sign up at prizepicks.com or use our promo code Rory Mall, and you'll receive an instant deposit match up to $100. Remember to use promo code Rory Mall to get your instant deposit match up to $100. Restrictions do apply. Go to prizepicks.com for details. Best collaboration, WizKid featuring Justin Bieber. Oh, I saw. I was pissed. Tim's. Get <sighs> DJ Khaled featuring Lil Baby and Lil Dirk. Every chance I get. Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar, Family Ties. Doja Cat featuring SZA, Kiss Me More. That is the winner. Drake featuring Future and Young Thug, Way Too Sexy. Bia featuring Nicki Minaj, Whole Lot of Money remix. Listen, I I don't think. 
Kiss, Kiss, Kiss Me, Me More, more is, is, is big the biggest record, record yeah. by far in this. But Essence. as far as impact, Essence, Essence yeah. should win. Fire. And I don't know if they added the Justin Bieber shit there just to help it win. But I was mad when I saw it. Like, I mean, Biebs oh, is on the, the remix, remix. That, that people don't play. Yeah, exactly. Like, no one plays that. <laughs> but I think Essence had... Kiss Me More, obviously, was one of the biggest records, period, of the last year and a half. Exactly. Essence, I think, had more impact than I any record, period. I agree. I Tim's agree. is the one right now, man. We all know that. Video of the year. Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar. Family Ties. Chloe. Have Mercy. Doja Cat featuring SZA. Kiss Me More. Ari Lennox. Pressure. Silk Sonic. Smoking Out the Window. Drake featuring Future and Young Thug. Way Too Sexy. Ari. Pressure was a great video. Um, smoking Out the Window wasn't the first joint, right? No. Okay. Because that was a great video. Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all know who I voted for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, and all, honestly, and you know I love Ari. If Ari doesn't win that, I think Chloe deserves it, honestly. Chloe's video was amazing, but yeah. that's that's just me. It, Chloe's video looked like a Beyonce video. So. Listen, man, I just want to know who the performers are, the run of show, yeah. who's hosting. Like, the categories are going to be the categories. The wins are going to be the wins. I don't think fans are as attached to their artists winning or losing the way they used to be. Mm. Even though stand culture is at its highest, <laughs> I still feel like even the dumbest stands are just like, who cares at this point? Like, it's dope if they win. If they don't, it doesn't define their career or if they're any better or less than the artist in the category. So put on some great performances. Have That's some the laughs. That's important part. Yeah, just have a good uh, night. Honor. Celebrate everyone. Everyone celebrate. Celebrate black music. Celebrate black entertainment. Celebrate um, your favorite records, your favorite songs. Your favorite moments. Celebrate everyone but Stevie Wonder, according to you. I mean, they, they haven't named it yet. They haven't named who's getting the Lifetime Achievement Award this year, but... If it's Stevie, it's because you know, of you, right? Or you guys. The mall effect. It ain't going to be the Stevie. I, I know they not going to That gonna shit going to be Birdman. They going to give it to somebody that just, like, was born in, like, 98. Mm, like, that's that's their one, lifetime. Like, you're like, what? How? Like, the, the disrespect to Stevie Wonder is fucking insane, man. Speaking of disrespect and legends and honorary... So, apparently, MTV <laughs> Movie and TV Awards, um, ah. the Unscripted Awards, has a thing, a, a award they're giving out called the um, <clears throat> Reality Royalty Award. Now, mm. if I could ask you guys who the Reality Royalty Award, which is to celebrate um, achievements and relevance in reality TV... Okay. Over the years, who would you give it to? Give me, give Mo- me like Mona top Scott three. Would be the first, your top three. Uh, wait, like you're saying, period. period. Yes. Oh, um, hmm. There That's, are no wrong answers other than the no. The I, person I, I they just don't. I don't want to be wrong and, and disrespect the OGs of reality TV. Give me the OGs of reality TV if you want. Um, I, I mean, obviously Kim would be. Mm-hmm. Well, no, Chris would be number one. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, what? One of one of the OGs of reality. The top, the top three. Or top I, three. Chris slash Ryan Seacrest. They're the yeah. I, they're the duo. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm Mona, of course. I know there's been so much other reality TV. Awards, I'm not even but talk, Mona, I'm not talking about the people creating it. I'm talking about the stars. Well, that's why I put Chris first. But okay. I'm just putting Mona there. You period. got Flavor Flav fucked up. I was just about to say no. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav is the biggest reality star. Flavor Flav is he? Absolutely. The biggest? Is he? No. Flavor Flav? 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 He set off every other fucking show for the next 15 years what after I, that. What, I'm, what I, no, I mean I, by that is, is, yes, Flavor Flav, yes. But when you think of Flavor of Love, who do you think of? You think of Flavor Flav? New York. Thank but you. I don't Flav, think of New York. Most people, like Flav is Flav, Flav. is Flav, yes. But the, the biggest star to come out of Flavor of Love was not Flav. It wasn't. Well, he was already a superstar. He was already a star. And that's when I say reality star, a person who is a reality star, not a, a celebrity who went into reality but I, I would say oh, so a lot of Flav's should... fan base has never listened to It Takes a Nation. Like, they didn't know he was Public Enemy. Yeah, like, uh, that, to me, that Flavor Flav became bigger as a reality TV personality than he was as an artist. Of mm. course. But we're talking about people who literally... Came, just like, the first time we seen him was reality, reality on a reality TV, TV yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um... Because right, well, that takes away. I was gonna say, Ozzy Osbourne. When you're talking about reality, but Royce. that was so long ago. That was, <laughs> dog, that, nah, was, that, that, was that was that was show. that was one of the biggest. The that's that kind of really popped yeah, reality. Yeah, but his dad, his dad is his dad though. Like yeah, exactly. He that's, was I'm famous. Talking about straight from made it out the mud reality television shows. 
If you were to give somebody a reality royalty award, who so, would your top three be? I didn't watch any of the Basketball Wives and all that other shit, so I don't know in that world, and I know the kills for that because I know that's popular. But you know who the oh, you said Basketball Wives or you whatever all them wives, Real wives even Mob or, Wives. I don't okay. even really Who's, know all that. When you think of that, Nene Leaks. Thank you. That's, you think that, of Nene, right? Nene you Leakes never probably, watched it. Before. I never ever, but I know who she is. Okay, do you guys know who Bethany Frankel is? No. Okay. That's who's getting the award. Oh, if, all right. If you're saying that, then I could ring off Jocelyn, 100%. Right. Cardi B. F- yes. Cardi B, number one. Um, Erica Mena, yep. legend. Like, I could really go if that's who's winning. Stevie it. J. Well, no, nah, Stevie nah, J. Stevie was, was known before. Yeah, he was Stevie. Yeah. So the, MTV, so, so the MTV Awards are recognizing her. Bethany, Bethany Frankel. Frank. Yes. Where, which show does she come from? Bethany Frankel um, was originally on The Apprentice, the Martha Stewart version, um, but she came in second place. But what she's really known for is Real Housewives in New York. She was on there from 2008 to 2019. But that's had, a whole nother world. That she might be, she might deserve that in a outside of what we've watched. That's well, what, in MTV, it goes to Bethany. If it was BET doing this, it would go to Cardi. Right. No, it, it, why would it go to Cardi? Or Nene. Why would it go to Cardi? Why would it go to Cardi? She did the most from reality TV, but she only did one season of reality TV. Yeah, she's not a reality she's done TV the mo- star. She's a star. No, she's just a star now. She's just like, a star. There's no reality TV about it. She did. Yeah, one- but you said somebody that we nobody never knew nothing about, and she started at reality TV. Okay, okay. but what would she be known most for? Now, well, not oh, reality she, TV. Oh, now she's known for music. Yeah, but most people would know her from like most people know her for music. People don't know her as a reality TV star. Reality I, no, I, royalty. I, think, no, I don't. I think, she's not reality TV royalty. She's not reality. No TV she royalty. she was on it for seven episodes. She, yeah, but her presence, her personality, the impact was so with, big. for seven episodes. I, but I, her personality I agree. was so big. Now, granted, she had some had, of the biggest moments in, in reality TV. Had she never wanted to rap or become an artist, she would have stayed on Love and Hip Hop. And probably would have got her own spinoff and become a whole reality TV star. I don't yes. doubt that at all. Yeah, she may she, have ended up. She's a star. That's why she. Of course. She's a star. Became she, who she is. She would have been a reality TV star, but she found something, I think, way more lucrative and important and a little bit more depth. Yeah. When, when, <laughs> I, impact, but, when I think of reality royalty, I'm thinking of people who impacted the reality TV game like who impacted that well, game so flavor well, of shit, love that, and that entire thing that impacted the game celebrity big brother impacted the game the kardashians as much as people talk shit about them are reality royalty isn't kim still on the show so yeah. what this award is going just is it for it's an a, award it's show like, it's like no it's like a life it's for the mtv unscripted it's like okay, an offset you. of the mtv movie awards and got things you, like that you. but it's going to her and when i read it i was just Appalled. You were flabbergasted. Because I'm like, if okay, fine. If y'all not gonna give it to Tiffany Pollard, who is who deserves it. If you're not gonna give it to Tiffany Pollard, if you're not gonna give it to Nene Leakes, that's fine. Give it to Chris. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But who I know who Bethany Frankel is, but in no way or shape or form does she have the type of impact on pop culture, especially being that this is an MTV award. Does she have the type of influence on pop culture the way that a Nene Leakes or a Tiffany Pollard or not the network, has? right? Nope. So there you go. Um, to but to close out all this gossipy award show shit, since I feel like because couples are such a marketing tool and like big in hip hop now, and like it's been a thing thing for close to I don't know, are we coming close to a decade on the couples being the thing in hip hop? When did it start? I don't even really want to count like the J and B's because they were just getting older into an age where people should be in like long-term relationships you talking about dating i'm saying like the, the young look? the younger artist going from you could never ever say you had a girl because you had to market that you was the man and all i do is fuck bitches i'll never ever wife a chick like yeah. y'all are crazy to now it almost doesn't work unless you're in a high profile relationship as a young artist to really be up there so why don't we get a category that jason lee hosts and get real messy and we do best couple <laughs> For the BET fire. Awards? Best rapper couple. <laughs> Let's stir it up. Jason Lee. Because they will get on IG and couples goal us to death for a month to Oof. try to campaign. <laughs> they do that anyway, though. I know, but imagine if Jason <laughs> Lee did an award show for it. <laughs> oh, my God. They definitely be trying to give us best couple. Like, look at us. We're so happy. Yeah, y'all both cheating on each other. Cut Ooh. it out. I mean, maybe it's an open relationship. There you go. See? Maybe. I don't think so, but and, maybe. And that could be... A- <laughs> I don't Part to add it. on to the best couple. Yeah, I'm with it. Well, all right. Here's the thing: if we're if they're in an open relationship, do the people they also fuck get part of the award? 
Mm. Does everyone get a trophy? Hmm. And are thruples allowed? Yeah, I let Jason Lee put all the rules together, but they're coupled up. He's gonna be offended by this. Who's gonna be offended by it? Jason Lee. Yeah, Why? I, I I don't know. He gets. I have no opinion about him. I think it's great what he's built. No, Jason Lee is cool. I fuck with Jason Lee. I have, I have not a single bad word to say about him. I just know if you say his name and don't say he's the goat, he gets mad at you. <laughs> nah, I don't. Like, say he's don't, the goat. Like, unless you're saying Jason on. Lee is the greatest of all time, nah, don't say his fucking name. I don't think I don't think he's that full of himself. He's not that guy. Jason Lee is cool. I think uh, for the interviews and stuff, he'll he'll hype it up because that sells, and I appreciate and respect that because there's a craft to that, and he's mm-hmm. really good at it. But mm-hmm. no, I, I don't. I'm not saying a single bad word about Jason Lee. I think it's amazing what he has built. Whether you agree with the content he posts or not, I think it's ill what he's created. So, Absolutely. yo, Jason, I think you the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make that clear? Yeah. And if you want me to co-produce the best couples thing, I won't offer anything but laughs. Uh, <laughs> I, yo, I won't know what to do. Stupid, man. I won't know who's the, the greatest couple. But the greatest couple right now? If we had the name one? Oh, we get, we're getting our super guy. We'd never do this. This is great. I mean, yeah. it's, it's BET time. It's BET Awards time. Let's okay. give out the best couple award. Uh, can you guys tell me the couples? I know uh, this is off the cuff. Moneybag and Ari. Uh, I don't like that. Diddy. And, why you don't like that? Uh, I just don't like that. What they did. So what the fuck am I naming couples ex? for? Nah, I just I don't that's know. your ex. Is, <laughs> nah, has me has I'll, tears. Never mind. Go ahead. Who's the next couple? I I don't G know anything about them. Taina. But I know people talk about that the Ari girl all the time, and I mean that respectfully. I just don't know. But they're very popular, right? Mm-hmm. My timeline is full of everyone just talking about her. Moneybag and Ari? Yeah. No, yeah, they're definitely one of the most popular couples for sure. Okay. Uh, What's the reason? Diddy, Outside of love. Young Miami and... Well, Ari looks great. Okay. And Moneybag is one of the hottest of rappers right yeah. now. So, all right. Yeah. No, that's all it takes. Yeah, that's all it takes. <laughs> yeah, Ari got a fat ass. That's pretty much it. And she's Ari. pretty, though. Ari, Ari's mother, really pretty. So. Oh, gotcha. Ah, so I see... Nah, now nah, I see all the internet's invested. <laughs> got you. Really hottest funny. rapper... Attractive girl, rapper, baby father. Oh, yeah, yeah. That should be a reality show. <laughs> and no, it shouldn't. And Wack 100 should produce it. <laughs> oh, my God. With Jason Lee. <laughs> that at, that at, would at, never. At Blueface's house. Fam, that, would, that production <laughs> would never. First of all, production on that would never start, number one. But that would never see the light. You know how fun it is to talk about gossip when you literally don't know anyone involved and know, I have no idea if you're saying I something that is offensive. I just or, found out Spider Man is in Daya. Are uh, dating? Yeah, that's been a thing though. Even I knew that. I have. N- I did not know that. Yeah, that's why she's in the movie. That is Ooh, not why she's in the do movie. That. <laughs> don't do that. That is not. You look like don't Peter Parker. That. Now that I'm looking at you from this angle right here, you do. <laughs> don't do that. Please take out that I said that. That's why she's in the movie. Nope. Because I know that's not why she's in the movie. Nah. Even though I killed that movie when we watched it, I actually this dinner was only the one I liked in that fucking movie. But. Uh, oh man, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know Zendaya and uh, what's his name? Uh, he just Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Please Tom... don't call him Spider Man. I didn't know Zendaya. He's Spider Man though. He is Spider. He's the current Spider Man. But he didn't say. I didn't know Rue and Spider Man were in a relationship. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I didn't. Mean... I didn't know that uh, they were in a relationship. But um, happy birthday to Tom. Is that yeah, his name? His yes, Tom Holland. Holland. Happy Happy birthday My to Tom Holland. How you know that? Really That's how I guy. found out they were dating. Like he posted a picture. She posted, she posted a picture of him, and I was like, Oh, okay. I was like, wait, they're dating? Well, that's I how most no people idea. find out famous or not that someone's dating Absolute somebody. 1, when birthdays come around, hey, I was like, fuck, yeah, I gotta you post hang you. out with them all the time and you don't know they're dating until they post a picture. Like, wait, y'all together? Oh, yeah. You hung out nine times and didn't know y'all was together. That's funny. Um, all right, so who else is left? Um, isn't Lil Baby with somebody that everyone loves? I can't keep up with them. Uh, they're off and on again, so. Yeah. Oh, that's, that might that's be my great, favorite that's couple. Great, yeah, I'm about that's, to say, they might win couple. just off of that. Love finds a way. They're going to be the ones that last. Yeah, they're going to find, love is going to find a way. They're going to be together. That's just how love works. So, yeah, that probably, they will probably win it. Uh, oh, Dirk in India. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dirk in India. That seems to be a, fa- a favorite couple out there. It's great. Yeah, man. Tay Diggs and Lil Fizz, baby mom. Don't oh, do that. Her name is April. April. Wait, Tay Diggs is dating April? Yes. Did you find out on his birthday? <laughs> I found out. No, I found out on the internet. They just started doing a bunch of, like, videos together. And I was like, oh, or you, didn't know you know why toxic love lasts and why on and off lasts? And we're talking about reality TV. Yeah, because you just go Let's fuck th- somebody else real quick and come back to the person. And you feel, loves. yeah, you feel fine. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Uh, Rashida and we, we, we all <laughs> thought he was gay. Um, Kurt, Kurt. Kurt. 
I, I think I just saw something go past my timeline that they still together. I'm like, look at love. Yeah, they still together. Look at love. Yeah, love works, pop. man. After you together for a certain Outside amount of years, Outside babies. I'm not clowning them at all. Love works. Listen, when you're together for a certain amount of years, after a while, nobody wants you. That's the way love goes. Because yeah, it's, like, oh it's like, no, we people know, probably want both of them. No, no. But what I'm saying is, because that, that sounded bad. But what I'm saying is, it's like, <laughs> people will date, like, if, if, if you and your girl, if you and your wife are together and y'all split and y'all, whatever, right? Okay. Nobody, people are going to always know that, yo, listen, we together and we dating and we fucking or whatever and vacations and all that, but I know who you really love. Like, I know who you really want to be with. That's true. And then, sure enough, when y'all stop dating, who they end up back with? Yeah, it just sucks. And I'm saying it's not gender specific. It just sucks when the person you love is a hoe. <sighs> yeah. So sometimes you have to take the vacation oh, with someone else. Rory. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not me. It is not I. I just feel like I got to console my guy every time. Not, it is not I. I'm not in love with a hoe. He's projecting? I've been there, though. That's what I said. Every time I've you bring there, it up, though. you just start, it, I can tell it just hits a certain chord in your heart. Like yeah. those wasn't that's, that wasn't one of the chords that Shorty uh no, Shorty pulled out of you. I wish she broke the whole chord. Yeah, she didn't. That that, that it might still it might still, still be there. there. I see it. It's right there. The, the it's in my heart. It's just it's what plays the music. <laughs> oh, all right. So best couple, we gave it out. We didn't. Did we give an award? No. All y'all win. Love wins. <laughs> Love wins in the end. Love wins in the end. God damn it. So Chloe and Gunner, best best new couple. Get the fuck out. <laughs> who? Chloe and who? <laughs> Isn't Chloe and Gunner together? No, they're not together. I Wait, she, Chloe and she left him already? No, they She wasn't going to hold it down? She been said they weren't together. We, uh, we'll save that. That's another topic, though. Women like doing that. Nah, we wasn't together. Stop. Because if my album was... If I was still on these streets, you would still be in this car with me. So, yes, we would still be dating. Don't mm. do that. You were mm. supposed to hold it down. Yeah. Why the fuck should she? Thought she was right. Died, love wins. Died. Yeah. That child. So I had a princess. He's the best rapper alive after his LA leakers freestyle. I've never heard a rapper say that before after they rapped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Saha, let, let's be very clear. Saha is one of the best rappers. Like I, I will say that. Uh, the, the best rapper. Um, why does that still work? As marketing. As why do we fall to, for that every, every time, time and still discuss it? Why does top five we fall for every time and completely will debate it? Like we haven't debated it. Oh, no, we're not going to debate this. We just and best rapper real. alive. Why do we always fall for it? Yeah, because it's it's always, you know, nice to tell people how dumb they sound sometimes. Well, I don't think Saha sounds dumb saying that. I think he can no, make not a Saha. case. Saha has a case for sure. He's he's one of the best rappers. Uh, anytime he uh, does LA Leakers, it's one of the best ones. Anytime he freestyles on any platform, it's uh, some of the best bars that we have. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at Sai. And you're supposed to feel like you're the best when you do something. So mm. I'm not mad at him. We have to change. We're changing a lot of narratives in hip hop, which I love. Everyone's getting in the mental health bag. Uh, we're getting into the young people being in relationships and mm -hmm. not cheating. We should get into the self-awareness bag now. And it should be like, okay, for a rapper to be like, yo, I think I'm top 15 alive right now or like yo maybe i'll fall in like 32 at the current moment but i'm gonna improve <laughs> oh i like to do this whoever whoever the people think is the, the the best 15 rappers alive i would like to look at that list and see where saha i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people on that list that saha raps better than for sure i don't care about people putting together because that gets back into our judge conversation of like who the fuck is you in your opinion so yeah so who so who should put the list together? i just feel like maybe people should stop saying best rapper alive <laughs> But you should believe that you're the best at what you do. No? Uh, not if you're... Especially when it's a competitive, as competitive as rap. See, I guess I, I view uh, being competitive much different. If I feel like I'm the best, if I actually feel that way, I wouldn't be as competitive. Usually the people say it. And I'm, and I'm self-aware to know that I'm not the best yet. So let me keep working. Yeah, but Saha But you're not like supposed to feel like you're the best unless you hit a certain level, I feel like. I understand the confidence... I just think that shit is misguided sometimes. And I know a lot of rappers just say that to say yeah, it. Yeah, no, no. A lot of rappers just say it and it's like, uh, fam, You should have the confidence to go into that studio and know that your craft is at a certain peak. level and yeah. you are going in to be the best or continue to one-up yourself because you can be competitive that same way. So if you're not... People are just saying that for the fuck of it now. So let me ask you something. Do you feel like... And I don't feel like they feel that. <laughs> do you feel like... So who's your, your, who's your favorite rapper alive? Are we asking rapping or are yeah, we just asking rap. not 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 albums, not not songs, rap. Just rap. Just rap. Like 
active currently? Yeah, alive. Hmm. Because every rapper that you would think is the best rapper right now, yes, out of them, that's alive. Not Pac, not Big, not, you know. Are they, can I say people that I think are like past their prime and are, do not care about rapping, just Absolutely. making shit? As long as they're alive. Because that, that was his statement, best rapper alive. Yeah, but you can't say that if you're not, you can't say the best rapper alive if you're not really rapping. You, you was the best rapper alive. No, I'm still alive. And nobody still did better than, than me. So nobody out me and I'm still alive. I'm just not currently. in the ring currently. Fair. I wish you would have asked me that question to give me an hour to think. Because that's how. Yeah, that hour to think about it. That's so how Sai might have a case. <laughs> oh, Sai, as far as rapping, rapping, Sai would be very high up. As, as far that's as, all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Obviously, we know the J, the Nas, the Eminem. I'm talking about r- rapping like leakers, like just rapping. Yeah. I would love to see Jay do that. Oh, so would I. I would love to see Nas do that. But not now. Why not? No, I would like to see them do it now, but I wouldn't judge them in the way that I'm judging a very now active Sai High the way Hove went in and did flex over the fucking Grammy family beat. Mm-hmm. Like, I would want Nas around the It Was Written in Shape time <laughs> to do leakers. I wouldn't judge him the same way. Now, I, heard- I know he would go in there and smoke as leakers shit, and I would love to see him do that. Like, Fab's leakers was great, mm-hmm. but it wasn't Fab, Clue Fab, and that's fine and should be that way. Mm-hmm. Fab has moved on to other things. Mm-hmm. So I can't judge it in that, that way. I'm going to judge fucking Simba's shit Mm-hmm. At a certain way, I'm boogies, fucking reasons, all these Cordays, Russ, Lotto, the baby, Big the baby Sean. Had a, uh, the baby had a really good LA Leakers freestyle as well. Uh, it was a while ago though, right? Uh, no, it was about a couple months ago. Maybe I feel like he's done a few, two, three months ago. I just get weird with those best rapper alive shit because I just don't know what. I feel you. I mean, it's a bold statement. It's a it's a statement that. Uh, is overused, I believe. A lot of rappers that are not the best rappers alive say that a lot. Um, but I understand it. It's it's rap. You're supposed to feel like you're the best. Nobody's better than me. Uh, it, it it gets people to talk. We 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 know that. Um, so I, that's it. Does everything you want. It it it's, it calls out all the other rappers. But then um, that that lasts for like a week, and then yeah, no like, one does all anything. This, all of this lasts for a week. This is, on the internet is only a week. But then again, that puts rappers even the ones that are like ready to rap against anyone in a weird position. Like I also see if someone says, you're the best rapper ever. Someone say something, I'm not going to go then out my day. <laughs> if, if I have a full bars. schedule that week, it's like, well, Sai hi, let me, let me cancel on my mom. <laughs> Sai hi said he's the best. Let me, let me get back in the booth. Yeah. I get it though, man. Listen, Sai hi is one of my favorite rappers. Uh, the story of EGOT coming soon. I'm That's, looking forward to that. That was as much as I enjoyed the freestyle. I thought it was great. That was my, Favorite takeaway. Yeah. Because Sai makes music that I enjoy. I yeah. think Sai knows he's how to make artist. songs. Yeah, he's, so he's, as he's much as artist. he can rap rap. No I, Dope on Sunday still one of my favorite projects. Still in rotation. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to uh, hear about hear from him and hear what he did on this, uh, this project. The last project he put out, he put it out in a very unique way. It was kind of hard to get if you didn't have, I think, I think it was Tidal. I think it was on, it was some, some, some streaming. I wasn't even aware he put something out after No yeah, Dope on it Sunday. Was, it was, no, he put out something. He put out a lot of visuals to it. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, it was a lot of people missed. It. A lot of people didn't didn't know about it because it was a it was a very unique way that he put the music out and put the uh the I remember he, out to it. Remember he announced like a was it like a sketch show or something on title? I thought that was that. Uh, I don't he know did something around show. the uh, I don't want to say Donda, one of those Kanye releases when Kanye was going crazy on Twitter, and I feel like Saha was also going crazy on Twitter and was plugging some comedy sketch show or something. Mm-hmm. That I thought was exclusive with title, and then I just never paid attention after that. I don't know if it was comedy. Okay. But I know he put out something. He was in prison. Yeah. He was supposed to, yeah. Oh, so he added music. Got you. Yeah. I understand. All right. Well, yeah, I don't think that's a f- album per se. No, no, no. So, it was a, it was a, he was just showing, he was in his artistry bag. Mm. Right. Um, but a lot of people missed that. They didn't, they didn't see that. Well, obviously, you didn't. Um, yeah, and I have title. But um, but, yeah, the story of E got, I'm looking forward to that. Shout out to Saha, LA Leakers Freestyle. Another one. Since, since we've been uh, debating, and I, I, I'm going to ask this with no bias, despite him making that weirdo ass comment on IG about me and not minding his fucking business. Um, <laughs> Wait, who? Fle- Flex Freestyles versus LA Leakers. I'm talking about current. I'm, I'm not talking about the legacy that is the Funk Master Flex Freestyle. I'm talking about when, once he started this new series versus LA Leakers right now. 
LA Leakers. I think LA Leakers is kicking his fucking ass. Oh yeah, yeah. For sure. I do like the the unique picks that Flex does, which I don't think Flex makes any of them. I think someone mm-hmm. tells him that because you can see how uninterested he is when he gets one of those unique ones. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that, though, I think I mean Leakers is no Leakers is uh is smoking. It holds a different um, uh, it holds a different level of prestige in the in the in the freestyle world right now, only because the the groundwork that the uh the artists that come up there lay yeah you got some really really classic and, and flex is you know obviously a radio legend dj um he's had some some great freestyles on his platform as well but i think right now today la, LA leak is, is the one that uh people look to the most and um shit i even think balls on i9 i95 is uh better than flex right now oh i've 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 spoke spoken very highly of balls yeah, on i think I-95. balls on i95 is Another one of my favorite freestyle uh, platforms right now. Uh, but shout out to, you know, all of them. Shout out to Flex. Shout out to Bars on I-95. Shout out to LA Leakers. Yeah. Hey, uh, I've, I've even spoken to AB from I-95 um, a few times on text and on the phone. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Charlie Sloth, too. Charlie uh, Charlie Sloth has a, a great freestyle platform for artists as well, too. I just, I don't want that to ever die. Like, I love that specifically with Leakers and even I-95 when they catch a, a big, big name. It becomes like a moment. Even if it's a quick moment, mm-hmm. it's a moment. Yeah. And it's still freestyling the shit that I've enjoyed growing up. And with Flex, it's going to come across like I'm saying something negative. I'm not. LA Leakers, I think, just with the younger kids, just based off Justin and Sour Milk being outside more with the kids, mm-hmm. it's revered more. Yeah. Unless, if you're in your 30s, you kind of have to be from New York to be like, oh my God, I'm about to do a Flex freestyle. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it com- like kind of becomes a press run if you're yeah, like a, a young kid. Yeah. Because Flex, I mean, and granted, Flex has stayed relevant in the digital space, but the bulk of his legacy comes from you had to be able, you were listening to Hot 97. It wasn't like the internet where you could listen to Ebro in the morning in LA because mm-hmm. it's on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so his legacy and where it'd be like the oh shit funk Flex freestyle moment kind of had to be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, um, I still believe Sue Surf has... One of the best freestyles on um, bars on I nine five. Oh, for sure. I think that's one of the best freestyles across all freestyle platforms. Like, yeah, I listen, up there. I listened to that uh, a lot, and I was very. I'm, I'm, I, we know what Surf does, but I was very impressed by um, his freestyle on bars on I nine five. Yeah, no, Surf Surf did did smoke that, and and I hope the bigger artists. I, I was really hoping Kendrick was going to do one, um, because I love that Cole went up to leakers. Mm-hmm. I would love to see Drake do one. I would, I would love, I love that Sean went up there. Like I, I just want to see the bigger artists do that mm-hmm. to, to really keep that shit going. Even from like the icon status shit, fucking throw, throw a beat on and let's see what Travis could do. <laughs> Travis Scott. Yeah. It's Curious. A lot, it's a lot of people that stay away from that freestyle shit for a reason. That's, that's not and as their, they should, they would tell you, I don't yeah, that's not shit. their strong suit. That's not, that's not what they do. All right. Well, get, Travis got delivery. Let Saha go up there and ghostwrite it. <laughs> he, said he, write, he said he write for everybody. You can't have someone ghostwrite your freestyle. Ghostwrite everything else, I'm fine. Yeah. Don't have someone ghostwrite your freestyle. Uh, let's get into some more of the hip-hop news. Nicki Minaj has been named Maxim Magazine's new creative director. Okay. Um, I see where a lot of these mm-hmm. platforms are going. Uh, obviously, uh, Cardi B is, at, was, is with Playboy, mm-hmm. their creative director. Um, so Maxim jumped into that lane and was able to see the influence of Cardi over at Playboy and the revenue that it generated. So now they're grabbing, uh, they're trying to grab Nikki as their, well, they have grabbed as their new creative director for Maxim. I mean, I think it makes perfect sense. And I like that they're taking people, make them creative directors to revamp some of like the iconic yeah. publishing stuff that they that definitely, listen, up. they, Maxim definitely picked the right one. The perfect one. Yeah. I, and on top of that, I feel like the new wave of how so many women are trying to look comes from Nikki. Mm -hmm. Like the women that would be picked for maximum in this era Mm -hmm. derive a lot of their beauty looks from Nikki. And I don't know if that's offensive, but no, I mean, it's, it's y'all went and got surgery that looked just like Nikki's. (laughs) Yeah. But no, Nikki has been, she's been, uh, you know, she's been looking great for years from her hairstyles, hair color, you know, uh, her wardrobe, and was the first in the mass, the mass world to look like that of how a lot of these girls look now. 
Nikki, I think, was the first one to the world mm-hmm. to look like that. Yeah, to, to get that type of surgery, per se. I think she was the first one to be seen to the masses that way. So, yeah. In the rap world, yes. Sure. Yeah. Sure, not in maybe the Dubai world, but... No, I just mean, like, I think Kim Kim was walking around with the fat ass before, the, the fake ass before Nikki. Yeah, but I, I think the, of course, most women, if we go back to the mask shit, would want to look like Kim. And all these chicks look like Kim. But as far as the specific with Maximum and the type of women they're going to pick, I think mm-hmm. that comes from Nikki, not Kim. Well, Nikki tweeted, I'm so proud and excited to be the newest Maxim BET, Maxim Bet? Is that Bet or BT? I have no idea. Well, Maxim, investor, advisor, and first global ambassador and creative director of Max, Maxim. Make way for the queen of lifestyle sports betting. Get ready for the best parties and more. So, yeah, so she's going to give them lifestyle, mm. and, you know. Can you, can you get us into the Nikki parties, the Nixie, Nikki Maxim parties? Um, I'll try. I'll, I'll DM Nikki and see. You know, it would be cool with, like, the whole sneaker culture and Supreme culture and, like, this collector shit. I know print is not a thing anymore but I feel like they could make print a thing if they only do a few and like make it a real like you have to have type way they do with the sneakers and all that other shit like the biggie the metro cards mm-hmm. and that I think you could do it with print with a certain amount of copies and have them value at a certain rate so mm-hmm. just to clarify specifically what what her deal actually is mm-hmm. is with Maxim Bet oh which uh, is- so let's cancel all this it's not Maximum Magazine yeah yeah so what's maximum bet? Maxim no, well maximum bet is I guess probably, it's an offset of ma- it's of maximum. An offset of yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep magazine. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you're fine. It's it, this, they have a new sports betting lifestyle brand right. that was la- launched last year last year by Maxim magazine. Right. So Gotcha. Yes. And now she's a brand new ambassador of that specifically. So she's taking what Cardi and Drake are doing and combining and it. Combining it. Yeah, <laughs> look at I that. like it. In the frontier. So she'll collaborate with merchandise, events, fan experiences, other partnerships, branding, like all of that stuff. But there'll be the, the women will be there though, right? Like I hope so. We're still gonna get the photo shoot. There's no, <laughs> yeah, of course. Maxim, It'll be the cover of Maximum, right? Maximum uh gambling. There'll there'll be women in bikinis somewhere, yes. Yeah, I feel like that goes hand in hand. Well, Nikki's gonna pick the right she's gonna have it, she gonna pick the right look, that's for sure. She ain't gonna have that shit looking looking Dustin. bogus. Oh, look at this man. We spoke up lists. <laughs> He's back. We spoke up lists. I think B Dot just be bored. I'm so <laughs> mad that we just did the whole list gossip. B Dot, you bored, ain't you? Best rapper alive shit. And then I open my phone and see top 10 best rappers of 2022 so far from Brian B Dot Miller based on skill, performance, Brian and Brian B Dot Miller. I, that's what he tagged it as. But <laughs> I'm just reading what he did a signature at the end. Okay. Based on skill, performance, and relevance, first six months of 2022. Skill, performance, and relevance, now, huh? Let's, now hear, I really, let's hear it. I wouldn't want to get into this if we didn't just do all the fucking list shit, best rapper alive mm-hmm. shit. It's just the theme today, I guess. Let's let's be fucking gossipy and hip hoppy. Everyone's bored. Mm-hmm. All right, let me read through this, and then we can go. Then we can go through it if that makes sense. Mm. I don't want to go. through I'll it. just read one through. <laughs> ten. I just want to laugh at the names. Number one, Kendrick Lamar. Number two, Pusha T. Number three, J Cole. Number four, Kodak Black. Five, Boldy James. Six, Vince Staples. Seven, Lil Dirk. Eight, Lil Baby. Nine, Jack Harlow. Ten, 21 Savage. Is that in... That's in order. Is that in order? That's in, that's in I order. I think it's in order. Yeah, he um, would have said, said otherwise. First, first thing off rip, Future having the number one album, plus I think oh, the most he's ever sold that is ever, true. and Future's always been relevant and probably in the top 10 when it comes to relevance for rappers. And he has a huge record with Thames and Drake, like what, what, what did Future not do to get on this list? <laughs> you know what he didn't do? Tweet B dot back. He didn't agree to come. On, <laughs> he didn't agree to go on complex with him. <laughs> he didn't go on complex he was on with B dot. Yeah, that's, that's what you putting on B dot. Oh uh, man, yeah, he's, he's a payola you know, type. You know, Future was busy. Damn, you know, I, I schedule was jammed. I didn't think B dot was the payola type. No, nah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, but leaving Future off of that is a uh, is a little is a little crazy if you yeah. ask me. Um, outside of being mad that you did a first six months list I'm, I'm not terribly mad at it i would dirk might need to be up high on that list though because dirk had the number one album for about i want to say four weeks or something yeah. shit like that um i wouldn't have been mad if lotto snuck in at number 10 as far as if you saying skills performance and relevance in the first six months um i don't know cole put out his album last year and has only done one verse if that's the case, if we're going off the standards that Cole did one verse that was a great verse 
in the first six months of 2022, wouldn't Drake be on this because he did the exact same thing? Mm. So I just don't you know why. Need to have, and uh, Cole's at number three for just for doing a Bia verse. <laughs> and that's a great fucking record. And love yes. Bia and love that song. But number three? You might have to put uh <laughs> And No Future? <laughs> yeah, that No Future is wild. I don't Is it? I don't know if he has he doesn't think future's a rapper. Maybe. I don't know. Could we collectively say that the top two are okay? Uh, Kendrick and who? Pusher. Yeah, first six months. Kendrick and Push. I'm not mad at that. I'd reverse it. I I like I Dirk like needs to be high on that list though. I like that Vince is at least well, six, not in the first half, but I'm not mad at Vince there. I'm not mad at Vince being on there. Uh this guys shouldn't be coming from my face. But I think Jack could be a little higher. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, Rory. Performance Jack, and relevance. Yeah, but, but the, J- Jack the first is, six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jack. Now, granted, we're gonna give machine him nine. may have helped a bit, but we're gonna, we're gonna let Jack rest at number nine. Okay. No future. Jack should be comfortable with number nine. Okay, he's yeah, trying I mean, to show Jack, my bias because I shitted on him when you asked me the rust thing. But no, that's all good. I get it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at that list. No future is 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 bogus though. You gotta have future on that list. That's a must. Um, but anyway, you know, let the let the uh, let the comments begin. Let the list make its rounds. Oh, it's begun. Let the barbershops start fall, yelling. Falling for it. We spoke it up. Oh, yeah. Literally falling for it. I, these comments are fucking hysterical. B dot be getting people pissed. <laughs> that's all he he loves that shit though. He knows that's gonna ruffle some feathers. He knows that. B dot sure. knows what he's doing with this list, man. Oh, he knows that. Time. He knows that. Let's talk about it. Come on the show. You know how that, you know what that turned into. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Come on the show. If you think I was wrong, come debate it. And, but why I'm just mad at relevance in the first six months? Like Kendrick. All right, of course Kendrick should be number one. I'm not saying he shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. But let's say it was another artist that did really well in that month. He just put an album out. Of course, it's the most relevant. Yeah. It just. I know it's Kendrick, so it's going to be relevant regardless. But yeah. Let's say Kendrick didn't do anything. Do we just go with the album that everyone's talking about at the moment? Because that would be under relevance if you're just doing this time period, mm-hmm. not the whole year. And somebody else missing from that list. I just can't think about who it is at this moment. But there's somebody that's like, it's blasphemy not to have them on that list right now. Uh, I'm looking through the comments to see if there's, because I feel the same way. That there is there's like, somebody, like a big ass art. Yes. There's somebody that's not on that list. That I just can't think about right now. We'll come back to it next week. But, ESTG. Uh, I would, I would be, I wouldn't be mad at ESTG being on that list. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad at that. Him well, or four two Doug. I was actually. gonna say or them together uh, for the first six months. I mean, I know uh, I'm not mad an at unfortunate that. situation, but still has been very much active and yeah. relevant in the first six months of 2022. I don't know. All Shit, right. even maybe Meg. She about to put out that Plan B video. That record is hard. If we just talk about the first six months. But has it, Meg, Meg hasn't been relevant music-wise in the say first Mulatto six months. I before Meg. Her name, her name is Lotto. Oh, not okay. Mulatto. Sorry, I would say Lotto. Because that's offensive. Okay. Uh, My dad's. Yeah, Meg hasn't been relevant music-wise. Not to say she hasn't been or can be just the first six months. She Yeah, she's been chilling. She hasn't really been. She's been really relevant for unfortunate things. Cole has been chilling. Well, that's why I said I don't agree with Cole being on that list. And if you're going off Cole, Drake should be right there too. He put out one verse that was huge. I think you should leave Drake off that list. Drake should never be on that list. Hey, well, he's on it every year. And he will Drake be on it. Drake is the most relevant artist. Like, you think by the end of the year he'll be on it? Like, just, just no, you don't even need to put his name on that list. Remember when MTV did this for a while? Yeah. That was terrible. Remember when B Dot did this? <laughs> Six months ago? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, B-Dot man. love a list, man. He, he absolutely does. He absolutely does. Shout out to B-Dot. That's my guy. For sure. Uh, well, Kevin Lau spoke in court on uh, Young Thug's behalf. Mm. He testified uh, in court. For, um, for a, ba- uh, it's a bail hearing, I assume? I believe that's what this is. I believe it's another bail uh, hearing. Do we have the little toggle, toggle, woggle, woggle? That's probably the name of Meg's third single. Yeah, toggle, toggle, woggle, woggle. <laughs> Let's hear the clip. Testimony that if this trial, and I'm not saying it, the court would allow it, but if it doesn't take place for a year, there'd be over a million dollars in expenses just for um, 24 hour security 
of police officers to ensure, off-duty police officers' second jobs to ensure Mr. Williams um, does not flee, does not get um, types of weapons, does not intimidate a witness, is not a danger to community or property in the community. Can he afford, in your, from your personal knowledge and how much money he earns, can he afford that type of undertaking? Uh, Jeremy can afford it, and I can afford it, so will we pay for it. And you are willing to back him as well? I want to back him personally and professionally. That's Kevin Lyles testifying on Young Thug's behalf in court. Uh, he says he's willing to back Young Thug professionally and personally. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pay for him to have uh, protection, pay for him to, uh, you know, as far as like keeping up with him, making sure he's at court dates if need if he needs to be, staying out of trouble. Yeah, those type of things. Um, so shout out to Kevin Lyles for uh, stepping up. And uh, and doing that on Young Thug's behalf because I'm I'm pretty sure he needs those type of people absolutely in the courtroom to help with uh his case and his bail hearing. Um, unfortunate situation. We don't need to go into it. We know yeah. what it is. Well, do we do we think it'll work from the the bail side? Because I mean, there is murder in the uh, Rico. I think I, which typically is hard to get bail. I in think a lot it, of circumstances. I think it. I think it helps. I think it helps, and that's all. Oh, I think you, it, I definitely think it helps. All and you I commend Kevin do, doing that. Yeah, all you want to do in these situations is to do things that are going to help your case, going to yeah. help you in your case. So I think that this this, this definitely helps, uh, Young Thug. Um, so shout out to Kevin Lyles for for stepping up and 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 doing that mm, and doing which, that for which him. we've rarely, rarely, rarely seen. Oh yeah. Well, actually, know, let they, me never say. We never. <laughs> yeah, we never see. They distance and, themselves from us uh, uh, what? immediately when things like this happen. It's like, no, we don't. We don't want to touch that. We don't want to be responsible. We don't want to be held accountable for his whereabouts and him making court dates and him, you know, staying out of trouble and all these other things. Like a lot of people are not gonna step up in court and put their name and their reputation <laughs> and their career. Oh, yeah. On the line for you, so Fat Epic was like, I, I don't think I know a Bobby. You said, you said he was here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, I they got, I've never. I know they a Robert. Got, yeah, they got clear away from that. Um, so you know how it goes, man. It's just, it's just good to see, uh, Kevin Lyle step, uh, step in court and um, and and, and testify on behalf of a uh, of Young yeah. Thug. And I mean, I, I hope it does work. Either way, they're gonna hit them over the head with some insane. Oh, yeah, Police gonna security yeah, yeah, yeah. fees, those yeah. are going to be. You know what they're ready to do with that. But I mean, I, I, I do hope if he does get bail that it's not strictly house arrest. Of course, that's better than staying in jail. Yeah. But hopefully, Anything Thug can that. move at least just for uh, business stuff. Yep. Um, Continue to fund, uh, make money to fund his case. And <laughs> but that, his, see, his that's where I feel like the, the government looks at it differently because now that's giving him, because they're, they're saying right here, like, can he afford a million dollars over? over the next year just off security fees. He can if he's able to be outside working. But I'm saying that allows him to continue to fund and, and all the feds want to do is drain every fucking asset, person, oh, dollar, yeah. family member you have oh, to yeah. make sure you lose the case. That's exactly what they're going to do. So trying I to drain definitely pockets. see the feds being like, wait, why would we want him out making more money to possibly help beat us? And I don't know if this is, if this is a fed case yet. I'm not sure if this is a fact. I, I thought it was federal to I, begin with. I think it's, yeah, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think it may be a state. I, I mean, I know a majority of the crimes were in Atlanta, but I thought because yeah, of, uh, I thought it was the easy loophole that because Thug and the, they kind of blamed the rappers that made it federal because they were traveling so much with the YSL brand that yeah. now your gang has been in all 50 if states. If it isn't federal, I'm pretty sure it's it's headed there. If it isn't federal okay. already, I'm not I'm not too sure about that. As far as music goes, re released tonight, recording on a Thursday. Um, you have this written down to me. I did not know Post Malone was putting out an album tonight. Yeah. Does uh, he have a single? Not that he needs one per se, but typically he has one before he pulls the trigger on an album. Yeah. That's how. That's weird that I don't know that as Post being a fucking superstar. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. He was somewhere though. He had popped up. Post Malone popped up somewhere. I mean, he's he's so kind of called Twelve Carat Toothache. He's that's active. the name of his album. Yeah, yeah, Twelve Carat Toothache. It's a pretty cool title. <laughs> that's when you know you get money when you start just naming shit like random shit like yeah. that. That's when you get money. Um, well, shit, that's a a big surprise to me. He's tracks. at the status where he doesn't, I guess, need crazy marketing, but I still think, I think you're getting into a surprise weekend territory with that where you are a superstar but 
you still need a, a proper rollout. Mm-hmm. Well, he did release a single, um, and it was called Cooped Up, and it featured Rob- Roddy Rich. That was a minute ago, though, no? Yeah. No. Yeah, and and then one right. When that shit like two the, years ago? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, I don't think no, it was that long ago. It wasn't two long. years. Nah, I no. feel like that Post Malone and Roddy record was a long time ago. The video just came out May eighteenth. Oh, right. maybe I'm thinking of a different song. Yeah. Um, and then one right now with the weekend was also out as well. Both okay. were gonna be an album. Okay, so he got records out yeah. there. He was on. In, he was on SNL on the fourteenth of last month. More shit I didn't watch. Yep. All right, well, maybe I'm out of the Post Malone. He's not my algorithms. Uh, I'll definitely listen. I have mixed feelings on Post, but... Yeah, I got to listen I, I to it. Think, makes uh, good music. I do think he makes great music, and I do think he has the resources to make, like, incredibly expensive music, too. So I'm here to listen. Um, Tentacion, Triple X. Yeah, he got an album coming, too, right? Uh, yeah, comes out tomorrow. Um, do you have the, uh, the title? Uh, look at me. Look, look at me? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, listen, I, it was one of the, outside of how unfortunate that entire thing was, personally, I, I wasn't aware of his talent until after he passed. Oh, yeah. Um, and by talent, I don't mean like, yo, I started fucking like, oh, I didn't know he made cool music. Like he's, he was special. Like yeah. he was different, different type mm-hmm. shit. Not when certain people do pass that you're just like, oh, wow, they do have a few songs. I never knew. He was different. So I'm excited for this album i hope people close to him that fully understood his vision and how he liked to put things out were the ones that curated this if you will because mm-hmm. I, I i'm excited yeah it was uh still a tragic tragic uh thing that we lost him so young uh before he really got got to become his full self mm. um but it is good knowing that he has music uh still recorded that they're still actively putting out just so we can still continue to get the art and support him. I'm pretty sure, you know, his family is is benefiting off of this. So it's just good that, you know, to see even in his his passing that he still has art left to uh to put out into the world. So And I think he's he was one of those that that's like Wayne or like Pac, where like they did oh, seven records a day. Rat. Yeah, he's a studio <laughs> rat for sure. He stayed in the studio for sure. So they they definitely have some options to pick from. Yeah. Um and Demar, so you have MC Ren written down as well. Yeah, I did. I thought that you guys might be interested in that. That's how much our fans. That um, is interesting. I had I didn't even, I didn't even know that was happening. I listen. I fuck Absolutely. with Ren. You gotta listen to Ren. I, Ren, I you think is super you underrated. Can't be a hip hop head and not listen to an MC Ren. No, Ren, Ren is probably one of the most underrated in that that legendary. Without a doubt. Without status, a doubt. Especially when it comes he to rapping. He doesn't get talked about as, half as much as he should be. Yeah, I mean, he was next to Cube. I get it, but mm-hmm. he could rap. Absolutely. Um, well, yeah. Uh, what was the last thing on there? Oh, that I want to talk about music related. I'm sorry. Uh, the Justin Justin Timberlake sells his music catalog valued at ten million. Hundred million. You said ten million. Valued at hundred million. I'm sorry, it's missing an O. Yeah. Yeah. Don't and I didn't, miss, even, don't I didn't even miss that O. That's I didn't even, the O you don't miss. When I was reading it off these notes, I it sounded weird in my head when I said it. Ten, 10 million. million. Yeah. One song was if that. No. Yeah. No. Definitely more than million. hundred million dollars he sold his whole catalog. That's not what he sold it for. That's what it's valued oh, at. Oh, it's valued we don't, at. Yeah, Sorry. we don't. That's what experts were saying. Oh, it's probably around a hundred million. We don't know exactly what he sold He's it for. He's probably going to get a little more than that, though. I mean, we, we've had these talks because this continues to happen. I, I now have changed my standpoint on it. Yeah, sell it. Absolutely, you should. Because you Fuck don't know no. the stream of shit. You don't know how much your catalog is going to be worth in... Let me get that liquid. Three years. Yeah, <laughs> let me just take this money now and, you know... And they're also taking it and putting it into other uh, business ventures hmm. as well. Yeah, licensing and using it for, I'm sure, movies, commercials, things like that. Yeah. I'm good for Justin. I am curious, though, what the plan is for these companies that are paying so much for it. Yeah, I was wondering. Because they have to know something that we don't know. And they must be conf- very confident in the future. And I'm not even talking about their, li- their lifetime. Because mm-hmm. something just tells me that they're not the youngest people that can afford to even get a loan to buy all this music. Mm-hmm. They are setting something up that they know where music is going to go and why it would be worth that. Absolutely. Like, I, it was a London-based company. Yeah, as, it's I, the same I was one more, that they, most people are, are selling yeah, it to. I was more confused in the beginning at the artists doing it. Now I'm confused at the people that are buying it. <laughs> that same company also bought uh, the catalog from Neil Young, mm-hmm. Shakira, Blondie, and Lindsey Buckingham. 
So I don't know. Lindsay who? Buckingham. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought I, you said Monk and Ma'am. Monk and Ma'am. Yeah, that's what it's like. It. All right. So uh, remember how we always used to have the conversations and we're not the only ones. I feel like plenty of platforms have had this conversation of like, what would just happen if, if artists decided you can't put my music on or like, you know, boycotted. We saw with a few artists saying Spotify, you can't play my shit, et cetera. Mm -hmm. If they're buying the publishing to a lot of these and the rights, I'm not sure what's in the contracts as far as what they own if they just outright bought Justin Timberlake's music because that's not just Justin Timberlake. That's the label, publishing company, et cetera. It's not just Justin getting paid off. They that. had something in there saying that even a couple of NSYNC songs, I think. Yeah, songs he's written as well. So yeah, it's publishing, yeah. more or less. Could they be gearing up at some point to continue streaming, but now we own the biggest publishing of the biggest artist period where we will have the ability, we make the decision that it can no longer be on any DSPs but and ours. we are the new DSP. Yeah, that's, I was thinking that too. Is that, like, that's the only way I can see if you don't, if streaming is probably going to remain for quite some time. I know it always moves on to the new thing, but, else, yeah. but streaming does seem like it's going to be here for a while. The one that's going to last the longest mm -hmm. as far as, as what's going on with music, at least for our lifetime. Because it coincides directly with the technology yeah, that we have. exactly. Are they trying to position themselves to become a fourth major <laughs> in the, in the uh, uh, streaming that's shit? That's interesting. And, and you can corner it as far as I'm not allowing it on that. Kind of like what title was trying to do, but in a way bigger way. I can see that. That's, uh, that's definitely an interesting angle. Um, and some of that really knows this shit could call me stupid off one sentence and no, I'm just, stupid, just freestyling yeah. of, uh, off thoughts when I see that people are buying I'm definitely it. That's definitely an a interesting angle for sure. I can see that happening. Because of course there's value to owning all those publishings even if you're not starting a streaming company but right. if you're paying that much money with the value of a stream being so weird and what it's at in the future of music I'm, is that the only way to make it that lucrative? Like Maybe. We can, I can take every one of these major artists off your shit. Mm -hmm. Here's my streaming company. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm definitely, that's definitely an interesting angle. And um, I could see that somehow being the play mm. a few years down the line for sure. Uh, speaking of zeros, uh, LeBron James is officially a billionaire. LeBron James is officially the first active NBA player in history to become a billionaire. He joins Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, who both hit that milestone after Retirement. So shout out to LeBron King James uh, on a billion. That's uh, you know, that's something that I'm I'm pretty sure, you know, he had his eyes set on uh, uh, some years ago. And now that he's finally in the billionaire boys club, um, you know, that's a, a big feat for uh King James. So shout out to King James and uh, I mean, congrats to the entire team. He wants to be an AR, maybe he should just buy these catalogs. Uh, I'm pretty he might. <laughs> He might start. The undisclosed source. LeBron, yeah. LeBron James bought he Justin Timberlake. Yeah, he might be behind some of that shit. Uh, but that's dope, man. Shout out to LeBron. Billionaire Boys Club. Uh, yeah, man. And I don't know. That's it. All on, on my list as far as shit that... Game one? You, you gonna tell the fans what to expect? For game one? Yeah. Uh, Listen, man. I love the Celtics. I love Jason Tatum. Uh... I think Jalen Brown's one of the most underrated players in the league. I said that before. But um, the show stops here, though. Well, obviously. I mean, no matter what. No, I mean, like... It's the finals. For them, it's <laughs> it's no champagne after uh, the Eastern Conference Championship. This is it. Uh, they just ran into who I believe is a top five player of all time is Steph Curry. Um, When it's all said and done, I believe he'll be a top five player. The only, the only thing that Steph is missing is a Finals MVP, which oh, I'm, that's right, which I'm sure he uh he will get this time around, unless Clay Thompson scores 50 the entire series, mm -hmm. and even then I don't think they'll slight Steph and not give him the Finals MVP. But yeah, uh, I just think that uh the Warriors are you know the last time Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green were all healthy on the court together they won. Um, so this is their first time all three of them being back together. Uh, so I think they'll they'll close it out. I'm I give the Celtics a game. I think they'll win one. I think it's gonna be a very quick series. I don't think yeah. this finals is gonna drag. I think that the, you know Boston is they're still very uh 
they're young. This is a, uh, you know, I don't, a lot of them have never even been in the finals, I believe, mm-hmm. that are on that roster. I don't think any of them have ever been in the finals. So the stage might be a little bigger than they thought. This might, this is their, this is the, they're, 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 they're like spoon feeding. Like mm-hmm. they, they get to taste what the finals is. With this. Yeah. But I, you know, the Warriors are a, a dynasty, the organization, uh, Again, I think I believe Steph Curry is a top five player of all time. Um, Clay Thompson, Draymond, you know, then you got your role players, Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins, who's an underrated player. He averaged 20 on his career. I didn't even know that until last year. He averaged yeah. 20 a game on his career. Um, so yeah, they I think the the Warriors just have too much, man. So I like Jason Tatum a lot, though. He's a Kobe baby. Uh Jalen Brown is you know, really, really underrated. One of the one of the best players at this position in the league, but it's just too much going on over there in Golden State, man. I will say though, with the Celtics team, I've never, I've, I don't want to say hate, but I've really disliked the Celtics my entire life. I like, I like the Celtics team, and that's I want to because you look like you'll be a Celtic. Oh, for fan. sure. No, I look like the Celtic. Celtic. Yeah, I look, look like a Celtic. Absolutely. I think I had an Antoine Walker jersey, but that I'm was just, sure. that was just because jerseys sure. and it was green <laughs> and it said Celtic. Like, yeah, it wasn't for Boston. I'm positive you had a Celtics jersey. <laughs> I think I had an Antoine Walker one. Yeah. Um, but this, they have made me like the Celtics. Mm-hmm. Like, we always joke about I favorite love team Jason to watch. Game. I love his I'm game. gonna be rooting for them, and this will be the first time I'm really rooting for a Celtic team. So, I mean, I'm a listen. I'm a basketball head. I I wanted to go seven games. Just, just so we just get won't. as many, yeah. Just so we get as many games, and it could be you, you and the advertisers. Yeah, like I just I want it to be seven, but I I just the Warriors are not gonna fuck around, man. They and I, I believe Steph is gonna. This is gonna be one of his greatest finals runs because he he knows that that Finals MVP award that is the only thing missing from his trophy case mm. that he feels like you know Steph is a as a team player though he's a team guy so I I know he doesn't care about individual awards like that but that Finals MVP award is missing from his trophy case without a doubt and I'm sure that he's gonna go out there and make sure that they don't leave it up for anybody else to take home mm. um but yeah man I got the Warriors in five. Are you uh since Boston is in close proximity and you know you are a, a NBA darling, um do you think? First of all, don't ever call me a darling. Be a darling. I don't care. Don't try to put NBA in front of darling. You're like a, I wasn't you're going a to get heart the throb in the podcast. I, yo, listen, you're a bro, darling. I just in like the to NBA watch bas- I just like to watch basketball. That's it. Uh, do you think you'll go to any of the Boston games? Well, the two that we may get. Um, nah, this is probably gonna be sold out, and then you know yeah, but you just walk crazy. in. Yeah, you. 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 Yeah, you walk uh, through the tunnel. That's the one that matters to you. I, I, you don't, don't even get an assigned seat. I don't. I don't walk through the. T- you have to have an assigned <laughs> seat inside the arena. Uh, I would love to. I would love to go to a finals game. I don't think I've uh, ever been to a finals game. No, I've never been to a finals game. So I, I would love to, but nah, I'm not. I'm not going up to Boston just mm. to go to the finals game. No. I get that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe you have something up in, in the bean. <laughs> Ew. Two, Had some bean three, box. Baby. Um, no, nah, I, I I definitely wanted to go seven though, just because I like to see. As many games as we can, but I, I got a feeling five games is over. Steph is not fucking around, but uh, I'm watching, and um, you know, hopefully they get this shit over with and Steph gets that Finals MVP because I'm tired of people discrediting Steph. He doesn't have a Finals MVP. Andre Iguodala was if better he, than him in the Finals, and no, Andre Iguodala was not. LeBron still averaged 35. Like if you try to discredit Steph, not slow you just say it anything LeBron. at this point. But but that's what people do. People people uh, they're gonna discredit Steph. I, if, if Steph was the type of Type of player, NBA player that was in the club every weekend with a, a bust down mm. AP on and spending thirty thousand on strippers a month. Yeah, they would be like, "Oh, he's the goat." That's actually a very low but because, amount that you're putting. Yeah, on an NBA but, player for a stripper a month, but, but because he's on a golf course on his off days and yeah, with his kids did, coloring in the backyard, didn't and, even get a shape up for his wedding. Yeah, like you know, people just they want to discredit Steph Curry, but he's he's without a doubt he's changed the game of basketball. He's a uh, He's dominated in, in eras where they call other people the greatest. So I just don't, you know, when you talk, when you just look at those things, it's like, how can he not? He's the greatest shooter ever. Agreed. I mean, you know, he, what else do you want him to do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, finals MVP? Okay, well, go get one so that people can shut the fuck up. But anyway, the finals uh, start tonight. We're recording Thursday. So the finals start tonight. By the time y'all hit us tomorrow, we will know who won game one. I have the Warriors winning by... 14. Okay. Out the gate. Yeah, game one. Uh, yeah, I could see game one being a little shaky. I have the Warriors winning by 14 game one. So we'll uh, see. We'll uh, see tomorrow. Well, yeah. 
Uh, everyone on Patreon, please look out for where we're placing whatever new Rory Mall item that you can find in the streets of Philadelphia to get you a free pass to the Roots Picnic. Damaris will try to get you a backstage pass um, to say what's up to us mm-hmm. if you have titties. Um, <laughs> tit for tat. <laughs> but, tit uh, or tit for tick. Tat. Or, tit for know, tick, man. yeah. Or tit or tat. Either show us your tits or your tats. Right? No? Listen, man, I'm here all week. Um, also, no, we're being else. Philly. You're not here uh, all week. <laughs> <laughs> it was something else that, uh, nah, never mind. Fuck it. We can save it. All right. Well, yeah, man. Um, oh, also, watch out. Uh, new merch. We got new merch coming. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll be putting that link up soon. We'll be putting some, uh, dropping some. Rory's going to do the ad campaign. He's going to have him walking around the city just modeling. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I miss his meeting? <laughs> Oh, you weren't there, sorry. Oh, you wasn't there? Oh, you, no. you went to the bathroom. That's when you went out to the bathroom. Got you, okay. Uh, but yeah, new merch coming. Uh, a lot of people have been asking. It's going to uh, make me like walk the runway of the West Side Highway. Absolutely. <laughs> in Queens, go get a bag of chips. You know, oh, yeah. you know what those campaigns are. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> well, look, look at them in the urban environment. <laughs> He's not scared to go to the bodega by himself. Um, yeah, so new merch coming. Uh, the old merch is still available. Some pieces are still available. We're going to restock a few pieces that people keep asking about. Um, subscribe to the Patreon Subscribe to the YouTube Anything else Rory Are we good I think I'm cool Alright well Have a great weekend We'll be in uh, Philly This weekend At the Roots Picnic If you did Say what's up um, If you see Edin uh, I don't know Give him a burrito Or something I don't know Why, why would I want Why not a Philly <laughs> cheesesteak <laughs> Because man You know why My Aztec warrior Strong like bull Thank but- you <laughs> That's yes He's gonna get his cheesesteak with like the shredded Mexican. Oh, you know, he's gonna, he gonna get the open <laughs> the five cheese, cheese blend. He's gonna open he gonna, so it look like a tortilla. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just fucking around. Uh, but oh. yeah, Philly this weekend, Roots Picnic. Putting salsa on your cheesesteak. What y'all wanna sick. see from us? Leave leave it, let us know in the comments. Tell us. me where to get a Philly cheesesteak. For real. Ishka Bibbles. Uh, was it Geno's is the other one? Real Philly yeah, people. Yeah, I heard Geno's is a little racist. Tell though. us where you think we should get a cheesesteak from. Tell Ishka us Bibbles. what you think we should do after the festival. Um, let I us know all of this in the sleeping comments. sleeping after the festival. What? Absolutely. I love sleep, man. You gotta go smoke out. Uh, and I think the game is on one of those nights, too. Even Saturday, better. right? Smoke and watch the game? I can't. I might not even go Saturday to the to the festival. I might <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundo. You're gonna see that lineup and wanna go for Oh a nah, few. what's the name is uh isn't isn't Ross and them Saturday? I believe so. And yeah. uh Ross, Benny, and um Yeah, I'm going Saturday. And yeah, Black I, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't think I'm gonna stay the whole we're gonna time. Get, we're gonna get fucked up. Huh? We have fucked. to perform. I'm yeah, not gonna I get don't know what, oh. see this is how this is how uh, here I go this boring uh, shit. I'm boring. You're not boring. We have to perform tomorrow at what eight o'clock? I mean on Sunday, eight yeah, o'clock. We. Yeah, we. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a drink. Yeah, I'll have water and uh, some bud. There you go. Uh, but yeah, roots picnic this week. And let's have some fun. Y'all be safe. Uh, you know, love your loved ones while they're here. Uh, vote for Trump twenty twenty four. I'm God, just joking. Look, see, like. <laughs> Do the sign off. Eddie cracking the fuck up I'm like just... he not with Mexicans for Trump. <laughs> oh no, Eddie wants to build a wall. We'll be back. I'm gonna build it next week. <laughs> Y'all be safe, be blessed. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace. No, warrior.